zero short rest used. So casting spells you want to cast first thing when you get up. I'm going to take a minute and find some soot. <laughs> Let me just mage chain in the morning. Oh, so we, we did take an extended rest, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, you did. Casey, is your spike Skype not working? Uh, no, it's I working. Will... I was eating an orange, so I muted myself. I will cast aid on the normal three, which I know includes me. <clears throat> so, plus five. Hey, Tom, did we go down this little pit here? No. Let's finish our spells, then I'll tell you what you see all around you. Kruger did an aid on Z, Dusty, and Jazz for 10 current and max hit point increase. And Casey did Death Ward, set fire. Nice. <clears throat> okay. So, the area you are in. You got some feedback there. Someone. It's like you all have feedback. Maybe it's me. I'm pushed to talk, so you didn't have heard feedback from me. Okay, so you're in this grand staircase chamber. Nothing new there in the description, except you asked about the pit. So in the center of the floor is a pit, and there's a resonant mechanical rumbling emanating from the dark hole. <clears throat> um, you don't see a bottom to it. You got a hallway to your east, ending in a double face. This little double I'll, face uh, to the east. Go down a little bit in the pit. Okay, the pit is 15 feet before it opens in the ceiling of another chamber, below this chamber. I'll try to be quiet. And in that chamber below, what do we see? You want me to rub some soot on you, Kirk? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. A pungent stench fills the room, the walls of which are covered with riveted sheets of iron. A wild garden full of sickly plants and rotting compost takes up most of the interior, and a narrow path hugs the walls between two exits. Jutting from the middle of the garden is a six-foot-tall rusty sprinkler. In the ceiling above the sprinkler is the shaft you're standing in, leading straight up. You uh, hear the rumble of machinery echoing here. I'm going to move you to the map so you can see it, Kirk. Okay. Uh, I'm going to test out my new skills here. Okay, so you should be... Yeah, you should be on the map that you're seeing, and let me reveal that area. All right, there you go, Matt. Kirk. <clears throat> do I kind of feel like this is the next level down? What do you think? Uh, with the exits, I'm going to say yes, so I'm going to go back up. Okay. Back up you go. back under the map now all right um i don't think uh we've got these two areas over here let's right. uh look at the two serpent heads again so the two serpent heads <clears throat> are in front of a ghastly door a large stone door looms at the end of the hallway but it bears no handles or hinges Jetting from the wall on either side of the door, matching bronze sculptures, each the head and neck of a serpent with fangs bared. On the lintel above the door is inscribed the following message in common. Warm like flame, cold for the cruel, still for the dead, rule for the ghoul. And the stench of rotting flesh wafts from the bronze serpents. Close examination reveals dried blood in each statue's mouth and tiny tubes at the back of its neck. Uh, can we get some blood off some of these corpses? Um, I don't know of any corpses right by you. Well, the stuff that we killed, like, right down in here. All that stuff last week. Nope. Nothing fresh, that's for sure. Oh, okay. It's all congealed and a day old now. Does, uh, does our friends want to donate a little blood? No. The crazy one no, they does. Don't. Atan does. Okay. okay. Yeah, Atan okay. will we'll do that. Drain a little bit of his blood and then uh, healers get him back up and 
put the blood in the vo in the snakes. Okay. Uh, how much blood do you want to pour in each? Uh, well, I guess enough to fill their mouths. Okay. That looks like that might be about mm, half a pint. Okay. So it will take all eight hand to take it easy after that. Okay. Maybe uh, <laughs> maybe have some graham crackers or a cookie. Yeah. Um, okay. Give the them blood a or pours down the uh, the tube, and you hear slurping noises and a frenzy of slurping uh, comes out from the from the tube. And uh, there's more scratching and clawing when the blood stops. Is he hearing that from the door or from the, from the snake's mouth? The snake's okay. mouth where he just poured the blood in. And it doesn't look like it did anything to the door? No, the door did not budge. And they're scratching furiously at that wall, trying to get more blood. So, sounds like they need more blood. A-10, we need just a little bit more. You can get another half <laughs> pint. Out. You can get another half pint out of A ten and pour that in, and then that scratching stops. <clears throat> Nothing happens still though. Okay, they're full. Yep. Can we try? Uh, and that was just the north one. You didn't, you didn't pour any in the south one. Oh, uh, well, let's pour some in this. I thought I said in both sides, but you've, that's okay. Well, you you've done as much as you could do. You did a half pint oh, in the north okay. and a full pint in the north. And now you can take more out of eight ten, but you'll probably die. And no one else is volunteering, but you guys could volunteer. I, I shrug at the that thought. <laughs> Do we feel like we could pry the door open? You could try. Our strong guys. Casey, you're real strong now, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I thought you're a quart and a half low. We got healing spells, right? Give him a little bit of blood. It's like he's gaining exhaustion levels, though, not just not just hit points. Uh, anyone have anything to restore exhaustion yet? Yeah, that's a great illustration. <laughs> you want to pay? Level. Uh, yeah, and a hundred gold. If you want to pay a fifth level? Yeah. But... Do we feel if like if I would drain some of my blood, it would give me exhaustion as well? Yep. Enough to uh, let's try prying it open, Tom, so we could try. Okay. Who else is I, strong besides Casey? I, 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 I'm just going to say this. I think that this trap is not about opening the door. I think this trap is about um, essentially defusing enemies on the other side. Okay. That's my theory. So, you know, the ones on the north are satiated. They're not going to attack. The ones on the south are not, so they will. Okay. Um, and if that, that's my theory. And Josh reads these adventures, so he's going to say reading the head pays off again. <laughs> You guys can talk bad all you want about Josh, but he's read the adventures, so. <laughs> uh, who else is strong? Uh, Jazrith. Jazrith, you want to assist him or help him? Sure. Okay. Yeah, the two of you combined have a strength of, what, 43? Oh, Jesus. I think it's 43 uh, 20, points of strength. 20 20 for me. Yeah. So, uh, with Kubazan's help, you are able to lift that door up no problem. And... You can put everyone where you want to be when they lift that door up. Please. For no reason. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Atan's like right up here. He wants to see what's going on. He's talking to me about stuff. He said in the last time he gave blood, it was a witch doctor. Uh, we tell Atan, you better back up, Atan. Go back to the other group. He, he, You're weak. He's downtrodden. He starts walking, walking away, his head held low. Oh no, go up there. You can worship me later, fool. He'll need your help. If you're not there to help him, bad things will happen. Here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Big huge giant room. Out goes in the north. Out goes in the south. Alright. So this is what you see, Jazareth and Kruger. <clears throat> a throne room is what you see. The vaulted chamber features a 10-foot-deep sunken floor surrounded by ledges without railings. 
Alcoves along the ledges hold painted wooden statues of hornet-headed humanoid warriors, each wearing a grass skirt and clutching a spear. A gruesome throne lashed together of bone and strips of skin stands atop the west ledge. A fearsome horned skull surmounts the throne, and small skulls are piled around it. The seat of the throne is made of stretched skin and has a metal scepter resting on it. Shuffling about the sunken portion of the room are three gaunt humanoid figures in dusty robes draped in cobwebs. Their eyes and mouths are stitched shut. They're armed with brushes and clay pots of pigment, and they're painting the walls and pillars. <clears throat> um, so you have just enough time to take that in before a door, two doors slide open and <clears throat> reveal rooms with uh, ghasts uh, spilling out of the rooms. How ghastly. <laughs> Does it look like the ones to the north are satiated? A little bit. Uh, <laughs> roll, roll initiative. <laughs> they, they look twice as strong as the other ones. I, I maintain that it will have an effect. Of some sort. You just You just may not notice it today or ever <laughs> but it was there <laughs> Tom Tom noticed it and that's all that matters that's right <laughs> alright also <clears throat> looking upon the room in the brief second that you could uh, let's see here No one has Obalaka. Okay. All right. <clears throat> First to react is this gas back here. He goes one, two, three, four. Oh no, he's he's just staying back there. Uh, sit, Lotley, your turn. Tom, did I get in the initiative? Mine's a twenty-one point five point oh five. I will fix that. I can't see Tom. Is there just a door here, or? Oh, there's doors uh, north and south. I will put them on the uh, map for you. Okay. There you go. All right. <clears throat> and back to Victor, who's going to go before you use the lolly. So hold on just a second. Okay. Sorry, I'll move back then. All right, and I'm invisible from a first shot, but I'm going to shoot the one in front of. Uh, Jazareth. 27 for 23. Okay, got him. Uh, 21 for 23. Dropped him. Damn. Um, then my uh, adjacent shot on the guy next to him is a crit for 23. Got it. <laughs> the only hit for 23. And then my bonus hit is uh, 13 is probably going to miss, I imagine. But if it, not, that would be for 18. It hits for 18 and kills him. That's how he rolls. Set Lolly your turn. I'm going to move to there. Oh, wait. Will I provoke from this guy if I move out of his reach? Does it look like he, hit, he can reach me around that corner? It does, yeah. Okay, well, then I'll stop there. And I'm going to attack this guy here. And do, 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 where Basically, he was you? asking, do those gas follow the other rules of D and D as well? <laughs> well, it's some of the I can't I can't remember with with the hard corner. Like it was, it's a little weird. It could be, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Um, 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 um. Twenty three for eight. Got it. Twelve for twelve. Twelve for twelve. Got it. That's, that's oh, how his arguments in court go too. Twelve is a miss. Okay. Dusty. So the things that are still in the room, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry if I missed what those are. These are <clears throat> shambling humanoids, <laughs> mouths and eyes stitched shut, painting on the walls. Right. Okay. Those are the people painting. Yep. Armed with brushes and clay pots. They're wearing dusty, cobweb-covered robes. Haha, <laughs> dusty. Oh, 
What do you guys think? Do you think I should f just firebolt? Just kill some shit. All right, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll do that on the one south of Sitlali. Oh, nice. Okay. What'd you get here? Oh, at 94. 94. That could be bad. Shimmering. Self, 30 foot radius. Shimmering light blinds you and creatures in the area. So put a 30 foot aura for for me. Well, no, you don't have to do it. So Dusty, a 15 con save. Oh. Victor, a 15 con save. Z, Jazareth, and Kruger, a 15 con save. Or B, blinded. You'll be able to repeat it at the end of each of your turns. Put a little bleeding eye symbol if you fail your save. <clears throat> I don't feel like we're getting any benefit out of this one. <laughs> oh, I love it. I keep doing it. It's awesome. Yeah. Everyone made it. Uh, it's cool. Victor, I need it's a save. It's called playing up. I'm not complaining. Oh, I was just I'm sorry. What, it was it a con save? Con save, yeah. yeah. Nope. A A10's blind. <laughs> yeah. I just, I, I want him to keep doing it, but I feel like we need to hang shit on him for it. So. <clears throat> After Dusty. Uh, Jazrith. All right, uh, we'll step up to here. Keep those guys in their cage. Uh, so they're gassed. Isn't there something about Nora around them? Yeah, there is. There is. You're starting in your aura, and so you got stench. Ten con save or poison. Don't strike next turn. All right, I'm good. If you make it, you're immune for 24 hours. So put a little yellow dot in your guy once you make it. Okay. And then the guy to my north, I will green flame blade. Uh, go. Uh, 25 for 17. And the guy next to him can have four fire. 25 for 17. Got it. Four fire to the guy and, next to him. Got it. And then 20 for 15. 20 for 15. And the same guy. Got it. <clears throat> Done. Okay. Gas to the south of Sitlali attacks Sitlali. With his claws. 14 is a miss. Z, your turn. Uh, go to there, attack the gas to the northwest. 16 yeah, for 14. Uh, to the gas nor straight north. You have to move um, into the chamber there with him. Oh, okay. There's a wall there. I, I think ah. that that's those rule D and D rules you were talking about earlier. <laughs> there we go. That's right. <laughs> Feed it back. Twenty-seven down. for fifteen. <laughs> Got it. And uh, uh, twenty-four for ten. All right. And <clears throat> go to there. And does uh, Papa Zodal have anything to say about this room? Um, I think I sent you something. Did you guys see it? Um, I don't, let me scroll up. Oh, there we go. You got it. Okay, uh, Z's done, gas turn. This one's attacking Sitlali as well with the claw. 17 is a hit on Sitlali for 12 slashing. Did and, I not? Oh yeah, I didn't take that shield, okay. And a 10 well. con save would be paralyzed. All right. It. Uh, After advantage. your turn, plus you got your aura. Um, right, Kruger. So uh, I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna swing my warhammer at the one I can hit. Okay. Should have plus six to hit after that, that as well. Hit. So that's uh, twelve plus. Oh, plus six to damage. Yeah. Okay, got it. So twelve plus seven. Oh, seven more. Okay. Got it. After Kruger. Gas to the north there is attacking Jazareth with a claw. Missing. Victor. How long does this blindness last? You get a save at the end of your turn. Okay. Uh, Basically forever. <laughs> yeah. I'll shoot. The 12 hit? Nope. 14 hit. 14? 23 dropped him. You don't need, and then you don't the need one, to be able to see. The one next to him, you he's can, a miss. You don't have line of effect or line of sight to any Oh, uh, all right. And then uh, it's a con save. Let's see if I can make my save. Hey, there we go. 16. Nice. You are no longer blind. Sit, Lolly, your turn. 
Uh, con saves with Lolly DC 10 or be poisoned. You're good. Add that yellow All dot right. to your guy. I'm going to attack the one I can reach. Okay. Actually, I'll move into here and do it. Okay. Tom, did I need to make that save when I went in there? Yep. Yeah. DC 10 con. Well, you're immune to poison, so no. Oh, okay. Uh, 13 for 9. I think Salali's immune to poison, too, so he didn't have to make the save. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Well, I made it, because I'm awesome. 25 for 13. He's playing up. He ignores that immunity to poison. <laughs> that's, that's for little sissies. Dusty, your turn. Right. Wow. Um... <laughs> a a ten's grabbing onto you. He's got his hand on your, like, head. Hey, I can't see. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Your, your powers are incoming. This is the this is how the magic starts, and I will uh, shoot the one north of the Jazzrith. Can't see him. I can't. Oh, secret doors. You know, north of Jazzrith. There. He's you said the they're, they're they're around. The oh, corner. It's, there's a corner. Yeah. No, sorry. All right. Sorry. So can I see him from here? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't help myself. Uh, let's see. I can't ready because of that. Oh. It, uh, you could use her out on one of those painters down there. Yeah, but there's that throne. Yeah, well. Let's just move up. Dusty, you only live once. Let's see the range. Can I see any of the painters? Yeah, the far one on the right, you could see from there. Yeah, him. That'll work. Fire away. Wanda Wonder Time. That's a... 12. 12. Stun. You're stunned. Until the start of your next turn, but you believe something <laughs> awesome happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. All right, well. <laughs> that's a great power. All right, after Dusty, Jazrith. I don't think I'm trading anymore. <laughs> Shaking my head. All right. <laughs> I'll, uh, let's see. Uh, that's the bonus action. All right. Uh, we'll Are you, like, playing this. from a truck stop, Shane? That's not me, man. That's someone else. <laughs> that might have been Josh, then. <laughs> Look, oh, Josh, Josh is at his Josh is at his fraternity. <laughs> He's playing from the office. <laughs> 22 for 14. Uh, that dropped him. Okay. <clears throat> Step here. 15 for 10. 10 still up after your turn, Z. Okay, Tom, what you sent me, am I bothered by that, or am I okay with that? Uh, you're fine with it. Okay. Do what you want with uh, it. He's not demanding anything, he's just giving you info. Okay. Um, I'll attack this uh, painter right here. Okay, walk down the wall so you can hit him. Yep. Okay, stop after your first attack. 34 11. Stop there. Do you care to share with the class, Kirk? <laughs> oh, that 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 throne is a uh, a throne to a minotaur god named Cargos, and it's the blood of children or bones of children around it. Oh, mine. May, maybe my new throne. <laughs> All right. Might be slightly disturbing even for me. Keep going, Z. Um. Okay. Second attack on it. Uh, 16 for 15. Dropped him. Uh, maybe. Uh, dropped him. Um, and... I'll go sit on the throne. Yeah, you will. Nice. Okay, so what happens then? So the skulls all around the throne, now that you're up close to them, are like skulls of children. The skull on the top of the throne is the skull of, it looks like a minotaur. Um, I'm going to describe this room again here. Okay. <clears throat> I need you to make a charisma saving throw for me. Can't tell, you the DC. Oh. Can't tell you the DC. 
I can tell you that didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're done. Um, none of you know if anything bad has happened to him or if anything good's happened to him. Um, that was Z. We know he, he just sat in the throne he made sat of the throne. baby bones. Yeah, and, baby, and skin, human, human skin. The gas here is yeah. Dakin Sith Lolly with his claws. 21 so what Sith Lolly happens when your for seven. no longer AL legal? <laughs> um, so seven points of damage to Lolly and a con save DC 10 or become paralyzed. You're good. You took uh, seven. The gas is done. Kruger, your turn. I'll move there and sacred flame the gas. Deck save. It Made is it. Uh, making it. Okay. All right. End of the round. A couple things happen. <clears throat> the ground uh, shakes the whole place. Uh, the whole place you're in is shaking. And a uh, humongous dinosaur comes ripping up out of the ground. Right where that artist fuck? was killed, a uh, Tyrannosaurus zombie has uh, ripped its way out of the ground and is coming after you guys. Um, <clears throat> see what else happens here. At the same time, you see a look of insanity take over um, Z. Z, you get 50 temporary hit points. Oh, no. <laughs> You will attack the nearest creature uh, you see with melee attacks. You won't make any ranged or spells. If you see no creature, you'll do nothing. Uh, okay. That's it for that. Let me add these guys to the initiative. Tyrannosaurus is going on like zero. <clears throat> sort the order here. Let me add the artist to the initiative. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> One's got a negative one point zero two. <laughs> All right, so, Lolly, your turn. <clears throat> Sorry, I was talking to my wife. Uh, okay, I'm gonna attack this uh, guest. Okay. Twenty for ten. Gone. Okay. One, two, three, four, and then my second attack against the T-Rex. 22 for 6. Okay. And next is Dusty. Oh my. So Dusty comes to, <laughs> looks up. You made a giant undead dinosaur, man. fucking convinced that he summoned this dinosaur out of nowhere. <laughs> <clears throat> he sees that Kirk's a threat, orders the dinosaur to attack him. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, what should we do? Oh, fuck it. Uh, I'll try. He's gonna try dispel magic on on uh, on Kirk's character. Let's see. On um, yeah, he didn't really know his name, but on the monk guy. He doesn't really know his name. <laughs> All right, here we go. I have no idea if it's even dispellable. Oh, what? Uh, just at uh, t -t -t third level. Okay. Dimension or remove curse. There. Okay, you're gonna make a uh, spellcast ability check. You get to add plus three to it, right? Oh wow! Nice, nice, nice. You you channel more power nice. than you've ever channeled before in your life, and it has no effect. <laughs> Dusty's like floating off the ground three feet in the air just channeling massive amounts of arcane energy into Z and no effect okay after Dusty you do cure uh, Atan's blindness though <laughs> yeah Atan <laughs> just <laughs> Atan is like sunburned on his front <laughs> Jazareth your turn <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. All right. Hey, guys, I don't think it can be. Tom, I got oh. skipped if that happened at the beginning of the round. Yeah, you sure did because I resorted the initiative. And oh, I had it typed in what your initiative was when I resort before I resorted. Yeah. So go ahead, Victor. All right. I'm going to bonus action cast Hunter's Mark on the uh, T Rex. Okay. And 24 for 28. 24 is a hit. 
28. Got it. Uh, 17 for 26. Got it. Okay, after and the, yours so is Jazz Rip. Yep. Okay, now I'll move up. And. Jazz, I'm pretty sure we have to kill it. 14 for 21. 14 for 21. Got it. Um, that's okay, attack number two, 11 for 14. 11 hit him for 14. I will go ahead and action surge. Nice. 14 for 10 and 18 for 13, so 23 more. Got it. All right, Jazzworth is done. Z, go after that blind artist to the north. Hey, Tom, will this work? In one charm, fright effect on self. That's an action. No, you can't take actions except to attack, so sorry. Uh, go to there. <clears throat> 16 for 14. Uh, still up. 12 for 9. Might still be up. It is still up. And 25 for 11. Might still be up. DC 16, still up. Z's done. Kruger, your turn. Can I go up and hit that giant dinosaur? Or try to. Uh, 20 for nine, for 9 points. Got it. Nine. Oh, plus 6 more. So 15. Got it. Anything else, Kruger? <laughs> it's not it's not vulnerable to radiant. Uh oh radiant. Nope. Not. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> okay. It will bonus action. Uh disgorge a zombie. This, uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Okay, so I need zombie. Let's use one of these guys. Okay, so zombie gets disgorged there. Then it will multi-attack. One bite, one tail, but must be versus different targets. The lucky targets are... Uh, Kruger is one, and Jazworth is two. So Kruger, you get the bite. 19 to hit Kruger. 31 piercing. And you're, cool. and you're grappled. And restrained while you're grappled. He can't bite another, nor can he disgorge any more zombies while he's grappling you. And then he's going oh, to good job, Kruger. <laughs> Way to block the mouth. I'll take, I'll, uh, I'll absorb eight points of that that he just got hit for. Cook that for us. See how that works. <clears throat> Did you get that, Kruger? I took eight of it. Yeah. You might be out of range. Oh. 30 feet. I am just, sorry, counted wrong in my head. Okay, um, then the tail on Jazrith. <clears throat> 25 Jazrith for 27 bludgeoning. Got it. Okay, and then the zombie attacks Jazrith. 12's a miss. Uh, that is it for the Tyrannosaurus. I'm going to have the zombie at turn. Give him a... <clears throat> there we go. Blind artist's turn. This blind artist will disengage. One, two, three, four, five, six to there. And then this other artist will go one, two, three to there under the under the shanks of the uh, Tyrannosaurus. Rounds over, Victor. All right, take a shot at the T-Rex. 23. 23 for uh, 24. 24. I don't think you can make that fortitude save. Nope. Okay, T-Rex goes down. When he goes down... Uh, yeah, he goes down in a collapsing mess right there. That's it for him. What else you got, Victor? Alright, my bonus action on the adjacent target, I'll go on that guy that's almost dead. You or can I see you him You can't from there? see him, no. You'd have to get like right behind Jazrit. But I can't, can see the other guy, right? Negative. Neither one of them. They're, they're 10 feet below. 
So in two squares, they if have. If I move up, to there, can I? Uh, let's see. Two squares goes up five feet. Uh, two more squares goes up five feet. One more square forward. I don't have the movement to do it with that attack, so uh, that would be it. Can't see the zombie. Now, yeah, from there, hmm? you can, from there you can see the zombie on the level with Jazrith. Oh, good deal. Uh, then I will shoot the zombie. Seventeen for nineteen. Okay, got it. And was he adjacent to the big T-Rex? Mm, he would, was. Would I get my bonus on him? But you'd have to have seen him when you shot the big T-Rex, so no. Because you were around the Well, corner. I was back here. You were, no, you were, right, and I wouldn't have seen him from there? You were there when you shot the T-Rex, right? Right. Yeah, no, you would not have seen him from there. Oh, <laughs> all right. Josh can tell you how those I rules work. Shouldn't. I know. I could have moved my hunter's mark is why I'm saying. Oh, he's but got, he's got the shoot more. around the corner feature. <laughs> Yeah. It is coloring book. <laughs> um, so you got one more shot, right? You've taken two yeah. so far. You got bonus action left. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Uh, and... Yeah, oh. he's gone. Yeah. <clears throat> Crit automatically goes to zombie. After Victor, sit Lala, your turn. That's you, Josh. <laughs> I know. You've well, only had 10 minutes to decide what you're going to do. <laughs> well, I was going to attack that zombie you just killed, so now I had to re. <laughs> had to rethink. Uh, hey, you can't reach them from there. Do you need another 10? They're 10 right, feet down. I, they're 10 feet down, so yeah. I'm going to try poison spraying him. Okay. All right. Uh, they're immune to poison. Uh, Dusty, Damn. your turn. <clears throat> just uh, looking for a response from someone right quick. A Tan says yes. <laughs> hey Kirk, how do you feel? Uh, how do you feel about getting hit with the Wanda Wonder? You can't ask Kirk that. Oh, I can't. Oh, you can ask Kirk, yeah, because it is an ale thing. It was, yeah, it was yeah, more of the PvP thing. Or, yeah, yeah. Is it okay? I don't, Z? I, I don't care. I've got to go through a lot of bodies. I can't believe you had to ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, let's... Oh, fuck. This is not the right thing. I should really just banish him. Ah, fuck it. What did we get? <clears throat> a 60. 60. Grass. <laughs> Grass grows up all around, Z. After Dusty. Nice. You're good with the... <laughs> and, and you're a deity... Is very happy about that because she really likes grass, or he really likes grass, <laughs> especially freshly grown grass. You should use that wand all the time. Your turn, Jasmine. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> how far down is the pit? Ten feet. Or how, ten feet. So can we swing at them from up here? Not unless you have reach. All right. Uh, I don't really want to get closer to Z. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of anything. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll move to there and uh, ready. Ready. All right. Your turn, Z. One, two, three. Yep. Attack that guy. Twelve's a hit for eleven. <clears throat> uh, Twenty-seven's a hit for twelve. That might kill him. Uh, no, still up. Twenty-one's oh, hit for thirty. Hold on, wrong one. There. My seven's a hit for eleven. That's a DC sixteen. <laughs> Down he goes. Okay, you're done. After Z Kruger. No, you gotta stay where you are. <clears throat> Once you're done with your tax, you're done. Kruger. Uh, if only I took that diamond to crush, I could have cast Greater Restoration on Z. Uh, I got nothing. Maybe we should back out of the door and uh, leave him trapped in here for a while. So I'm going to head out and wait. After Kruger, blind artist, this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, that round's over. Victor, your turn. I can see the artist from where I'm at, can I? Yeah, I think I can. Maybe not. Maybe I need to move up you can. five. Yeah. Twenty-three for twenty-two. Wow, that dropped him. 
And um, ba, ba, ba. so oh, my wait, 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 wait. Um, from out of that dinosaur, <clears throat> zombies are erupting. They're going to go the end of the round, initiative-wise, but you can target them with your bow if you like. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, see, that was one attack. Then my attack on the one just uh, directly west of me would be... Drop. Yeah, 23. And then my bonus attack hitting an adjacent one would be 19. 19 still there. You also get your adjacent attack. You get your adjacent and, attack and a bonus attack. All right. And 14 hit? Yep. 21. 21. There's no way you can make that save. Okay. Uh, after Victor is Lolly. Okay, so my theory is that we need to essentially knock the possessing spirit out of him, uh, by which I mean reduce those temporary hit points to zero. Um, so I is that propose... What, is that what the book says? <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. let's go with that. Um, so that's what I propose we do. I better read it too, then. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, just trust me. That's what the book says. <laughs> Sorry, I muted everyone for a second there. I missed whatever you said, Salali. I said, uh, just trust me on that. You don't have to read it. Oh, okay. Okay. Actually, uh, I'm going to uh, poison spray this zombie. <laughs> okay. They're immune. And then I'm going to move down. This is completely out of character. But, Josh, you just did that like two <laughs> rounds ago, and he told you they're immune. No, he told me that the uh, cleaners were immune. Dusty. These are different zombies. <laughs> and you guys learned in that trilogy, the third part of that trilogy, that some zombies are not immune to poison, so I want to test it out. Plus, he's read the book. So, Plus, Dusty. I read the book. Your turn. And Tom clearly didn't read the part where it said they were not <laughs> immune to Yanti poison. Trust me, it's in there, Tom. I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Dusty? You muted if you're talking. Sorry about that. Uh, do, 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 do. Whoa. <laughs> Do I have any idea what's going to stop the zombies coming out of that T-Rex? Oh, you think that's the last of them? Oh, okay. There was just a few um, that left in them. Well, a, a bunny with a unicorn horn can't fucking be wrong, so I'm going to hit Kirk again. Nice. Wait, not with the spell magic. That doesn't work. You sure? It might be a different Kirk. <laughs> it could be different this time. Disappear. Object of my choice disappears into the ethereal plane. <laughs> Must not be worn or carried at 120 feet of target and no larger than 10 feet in any, any dimension. Again? It could now, be Kirk that, isn't, it could isn't be that Minotaur one. god. One of the skulls yes. disappears. You see it disappear. Actually, no. You see a statue disappear. The statue in the northwest corner of the room right over here disappears. Sweet. Boom. I bet we didn't need that. There's a small uh, door back there. A secret door back there. Revealed. Oh. I just ah, says keep you using really that are wand. the best mage ever. Dusty's done. <laughs> Jazz with your turn. I'm not being sarcastic. I mean, just all awesome. right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I heard we're getting out of the room, right? Uh, it I is. said no. One, two, <laughs> three. <else>? Well, <laughs> after Jazz with uh, down next to you. Z. Make some attacks. I heard we're getting 13. Still up. Yeah, but it was from Casey. Thirteen we'd, like, could about it. kill it. Oh, you know where that slam? Uh, that does finish them off. So two attacks finish them off. So you went one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh wait, you were here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Oh, oh. Sit lolly. Make attack on Sit lolly. Fourteen's a miss. Z's done. Kruger, your turn. I'm going to use my scroll of remove curse on Z and see if that does anything. Okay. Go to make a wisdom check. That is a big 14 on the check. Let me double check and see if that does that. Well, I don't think I have to roll. I mean, that's uh, it just works right. or it doesn't work. Right. I'm just checking something. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. 
Ten hit points are gone, and you are free of the curse. Z. Ooh. Good job. Josh, you better thank him. <clears throat> Kruger, you can have inspiration. You'd better thank him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I might have gone down, but you would have gone down before me. <laughs> no, the thing is, he's got Death Ward on him still, so. Yeah, it would have been painful the amount of damage you would have had to do to Z. 50 temp hit points and death ward. I was ready. Ready? You were already trying over and over. <laughs> I said I was ready. Yep. <laughs> A10 begs you to take away his blindness. Um, he hasn't made a save yet. He can't. Yeah, when the blindness in, you'll come into your true power. <laughs> he can't wait. Okay, so you, <laughs> you see a secret door in the room. In addition to the throne in the room. I'm not going to sit on the throne again, Tom. Oh, good can idea. we check the throne out carefully? <laughs> yeah, you can, you can look at all you want without touching it. Um, the throne, it's made from skin and bones of, uh, looks like, humans. Uh, the skulls piled all around it are of children. The skull atop wow. it is of a minotaur. Uh, what the, about uh, the, the uh, blind Maybe artists? We destroy it. The blind artists were uh, painting scenes on the wall. <clears throat> One showed uh, three of you getting into three chests and uh, <laughs> closing the lids on the three chests. Another one showed a scene depicting a, um, a human man dressed in uh, heavy armor, choking on poisonous gas. Uh, and he's got a yellow... Um, Surcoat, so maybe part of the company of the Yellow Banner, and uh, and that was the two the two scenes they were working on right now. Hey, the fourth warning says the iron find the iron scepter's twin. Oh, you want to see the warnings? Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, look at the warnings up I just read. It. I just read it. Yeah. Um, I and think uh, it says there's an iron scepter in that throne on your description. There is. Yep. Uh. It was sitting on that that, uh, you know, made you feel different. I'm not going to sit on it. You want to mage hand it off? <laughs> uh, sure, I'll mage hand it off and set it on the floor in front of the throne. Okay. You do. Nothing happens. Uh, um, I'll grab the scepter. You got it. Nothing bad happens. Okay. Uh, we've checked this room. Check all the statues before we go through the secret door. Okay. Uh, can we try to destroy that? Does my uh, little uh, possession, does he want me to destroy that throne? Uh, no, silent. Silent. All right. Up to you. <clears throat> I'm going to start shooting it. I'm going to blow it up. There you go. Good job. Let's see. <clears throat> so... Now, okay, so you search the rest of the statues. Nothing bad happens as you're damaging the throne. Um, you just find the north secret door slightly ajar. You also uh, find a east secret door with your super high passive perception. And searching skills, and it's down in the southeast corner over there. Uh, do the north one first. North one, okay. At Tyrannosaur Zombie 3900. All right. Okay. <clears throat> North door. Small little room beyond. And inside the room is. <clears throat> The walls are adorned with the tile mosaics of a jungle city intermingled with frescoes of flowering plants, birds, insects, and humans wearing gold skirts and carrying spears and ornate jugs. The ceiling is painted to look like a clear blue sky. A small bejeweled cockroach rests atop a sarcophagus of black basalt in the middle of the room. A two-foot diameter orb hanging from a chain above the sarcophagus is made of hammered gold to resemble a smiling sun. 
The lid of the black sarcophagus bears a name etched in common, Napaka. The lid is sealed with strips of melted lead that you could easily pry away. Anyone got detect magic going? Kruger, do you have it? I uh, didn't specify, and I... I, I can put it back up if we need to. Uh, yeah, let's both put it up. Okay. I've got so nothing else to do. You detect magic, Kruger, and you uh, go evaluate. You see evocation on that sun orb, and evocation on the cockroach sitting on top of the sarcophagus. So those things will probably blow up, as far as I know, arcane magic. What do you think, Dusty? Evocation? Explosions? I don't really know a whole lot about I mean, darkness is evocation. Um, uh, Josh, you want to... I've heard maybe fireball is, but I don't know. Why don't we uh, have uh, Dusty mage hand the co try to mage hand the cockroach off there? See what happens. I'm not really the one with death word. Yeah, it, but you'll be far away from it. If you want to give me your aura, I'll go up there. Well, I was just trying to avoid you getting hit with something when we have someone who can remove it from range. Yeah, that 30 feet, that's definitely range. Uh, or go to there, Tom. Does uh, Papa Zodal have anything to say about this room? Negative. Pa Pappy Zodal. Uh, check for traps. Okay. <clears throat> You don't find any traps. And, uh... I'll... Is there... Uh... The cockroach is just sitting there? Yeah, just sitting there. Okay. Uh, I'll pick him up. Alright, nothing bad happens. You have the cockroach. It's a little jewelry box as you examine it. Uh, you want to look inside? Oh, sure. Of course you do. Of course I do. <clears throat> All right. The cockroach-shaped jewelry box is made of gold, set with precious gems, including tiny black pearls for eyes worth 1,500 gold. It contains a small jade key, shaped like a crocodile, and a gold necklace with eight red globes attached to it. And you detect evocation on the necklace. Hey, um, Kruger, actually, yummy. yeah, you, have, you detect. <laughs> you actually have to be in a place where you can have line of sight to the room to detect stuff, because you can't detect. No, I didn't blow stone. up yet. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, next thing, I'll uh, pry the iron deals off so we can open the sarcophagus. Okay. Yeah, they uh, come right out. The lid. Uh, you want to try and push it aside? Sure. Make athletics check. Need some help? Or try some more. I'll go up there and help you. Okay. Try again with the advantage. All right. Yeah, uh, that's 17. enough. That's enough. You guys push aside right. the lid, and you can see inside. Let's see here. Inside the lid. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> so, oh, hey, Tom. I'm sorry, Tom. Does the the scepter is it magical that we picked up? Since the detect magic is going, the one we picked up back in the room that was sitting on the throne. Um, no, no, it's not. Oh. Um, two things triggered here. Or maybe I clicked the wrong thing or something. Anyway, um, look up higher. Uh, the sarcophagus contains the remains of an omen queen, perfectly preserved. She wears a black gown and a hornet mask made of painted gold with 250 gold. In her left hand, she holds an iron scepter with an adamantine head. <clears throat> and it matches the scepter you guys have. And you detect magic on the scepter. Well, let's mage hand that scepter. You have to get up next adjacent to the sarcophagus to mage hand it. Or, uh, yeah, we'll do it. I'll and do from it. there, do you have to take a magic going? 
I do. You do? Okay, it is transmutation magic on the scepter. It says to find the twin. Whoa, whoa. whoa. I think we just did. This looks like, yeah, um... Yeah, this uh, might be another one of those those these things. I can't take this. Okay, I'll I'll put the other scepter in and grab it. Okay. Um, you are lifting out the scepter. Dun 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 dun. Win. All right. The uh, the face on the sun changes its expression to an angry expression, and emits rays of searing light. Uh, two, three rays. Oh. There we go. So creatures without total cover from that yellow circle, which is everyone except Victor. Uh, Forty-four fire damage, fourteen dex save for half. Well, that sucks. And it's not a spell, so it doesn't get half done damage, but it might get half to be resistant to fire. But we, but we get the aura from... Oh, you yes. get the aura yeah. on your save, yeah. And uh, I've sweet. got evasion, so I take zero. There you go. And if I remember right, my aura is now a plus ten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use my inspiration, because okay. I'm not in the aura. Okay. Well, uh, oh, so close. Fourteen? Yeah, fourteen. Fourteen is the same. Okay. Oh, wait, you have a plus five, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, he's plus five. Oh, shit. That's still not 14. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, uh, I will... I'll use a reaction to cast Absorb Elements. What do you guys do next? Uh, I, let, I I touch myself. Hey, so I put the the other scepter in and I grabbed it. And nothing happened now. Yeah. So you you put, put you put the scepter you found on the throne Actually, down do inside the sarcophagus. You grabbed the scepter that was in the sarcophagus, pulled it out. When it crossed the yeah. threshold of the top of the sarcophagus, the sun's expression turned mad. You now hold it in your hand. The one that was in the sarcophagus. Okay, uh, I'll hey. leave the room. Okay, Kruger, you want to do that thing that lets you get up to half? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'll probably end up doing that. So you guys get back out of the room. Nothing else bad happens. You guys did actually avert another really bad trap by doing what you just did. So that's a good move. All right, I'm gonna channel divinity probably twice. Uh, or it's nine times five, I believe now, because I leveled up. Yeah, forty-five. So, I don't need any. Jazz, how many do you need? <laughs> three okay, you to get the half. <laughs> you can get three, and then sit while you can have whatever's left of that. Okay, I need 24. Oh, okay, so I'll have some of that one as well. So it's 27 20. minus 45. 18. I'm going to touch myself and give me 30. So you say we averted the bad thing? Yeah. Holy shit, what <laughs> averted the bad one. That was a really good move. Way to go. What, by putting the other scepter in there? Yeah. Well, it's, it said oh, to it's find sweet. its twin. Yeah. Nice. Uh, well check done, the Kurt. other secret door. Okay. The other secret door leads to... Stairway. Same what was the other? Same one you've seen before. It goes up and down. Okay. What was the other bad thing, Tom? Um... Uh, See, maybe it wasn't as bad as I was thinking. Let's see here. Yeah, we're not going back in that room. 53 gas. 52 necrotic. Oh. 18 con save. To have that would have sucked. You would have taken both of those. So you would have taken the 52 necrotic and the other one. So what you're saying is we would have died. It would have been... Some of you would have died. Not all of you. I would have died. Some, some would have. <laughs> all right, Mr. Kruger, you and I are the only ones that are really wounded. 
heal a little bit with my second wind. Do you want to do any more healing? Uh, use your second wind, and we'll see how, how that gets you. Yeah, let me see what else I got. I got potions. Another 17. Now, Tom, you said there was a... Uh, like I'll a, do a trap door a first in the level. roof right here, right? This is on you, Jazz. That's right. There see is a... The right there. A so hatch to you. Alright, thank you. And we tried prying it open, but it didn't work. Correct. Okay. I'll go along the wall to not step on the stair. We ready to continue on, guys? Yep. I'm going to heal myself uh, with the first level as well. <laughs> Ignore that. Oh, <laughs> where'd my heal go? <laughs> I won't scroll up. I didn't see what you did. But... Uh, you did 13. I, I I, all of a sudden, I see 15 descriptions. <laughs> <laughs> You healed yourself for 13, Kruger. Yeah, I got it. Here, uh, go ahead and give yourself another 8. Okay. So, along the wall, Tom, and go down and check that uh, chest out. And do I see, like, uh, maybe a pressure plate or something that would open that trap door? Um, here, let me check something. Okay. <clears throat> the chest. So resting on the floor at the bottom of the staircase, a little treasure chest with a rusty built-in lock. Just beyond the chest is a dark chamber. You spot the hatch in the ceiling as you were going by it. Um, let's see from there. You can see into the chamber a little bit. In fact, you catch the glimpse of a skeleton. One of those same kind. Uh huh. And um, yeah, dark squirrely bastards. Do you have dark vision or anything? Uh, no. I have a floating drift globe that goes along with me. Oh, okay. So that chamber is. Marble columns support the ceiling of this grand tomb. Staircases ascend to an upper gallery where a carving in the form of a giant maze adorns the wall. On the floor of the tomb stands an opaque crystal sarcophagus that is constantly changing color. Minotaur murals adorn the walls on the lower level of the tomb. You smell acid. Can't tell where it's coming from, but there's acid smell coming from that room. And the skeleton's uh, going to dart out of the way. You want to roll initiative? Uh, yeah. We'll roll initiative. Just see if you can get that skeleton if you want to go after it. Everyone go to roll initiative. A10 yells out, I can see! <laughs> Embrace your true power. <clears throat> Dusty, you're first. Uh, Z yells out, there's a skeleton down here. Not much you can do about that from way back there, but go ahead. Yeah, I must have missed where you said you wanted us to be in position. Anyhow, I will move up to here, and that's what I'll do. Okay. You're normally that far back, so that's probably about right. <laughs> Victor, you're <carrying. laughs> You can't see the skeleton from way back there. Z couldn't see it until he got to where he's standing. And he's standing on the wall, sideways over the top of that chest. Okay, well I can get it's. Yeah, you're like the first person to step on those stairs. Just if you're wondering. 
Z and there's a, and there's a trap door. Z carefully avoid yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, I am just going to move to here. Chazrith. You know what? I'm going to move and go invisible. Okay. Uh, hmm. No, my way out here. Done. A10. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yes. Five, yes. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can disarm that trap. He starts using magic on it. I mean, chest. I believe in you, buddy. Z, your turn. Um, go to there. I need to know exactly how you're going to everywhere you're going as you go. Uh, along the wall. Okay. Over to there. Okay. Can I go to this pillar on the side of the pillar? Leap to the pillar, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, strike that bastard. Uh, 31 for 15 bludgeoning. <laughs> Holy jeez. Skeleton shards are everywhere in the chamber now, just all across the room. <laughs> the uh, key clatters against the wall right at the base of the steps to the east. Oh, and you can see also the rest of the room as your glyph globe follows you in. Um, the stairs go up to a, a balcony up there, and that block in the center of the balcony is the uh, giant maze adorning the wall. You, you say the skeleton had a key? Yeah, the skeleton's skull turns into a key. Okay. So now you have, that's the fourth one. And this one is, um, be, what? Um, multi-sided. Let's see, four, six, eight, ten. Ten-sided. Okay. And you said there's a maze on the wall. Maze on the wall in the center of the balcony on the north wall right up here. Last time we did that, we just had to trace the thingy, and that's how we found this place. And I'll come back to there uh, without touching the floor. Did uh, Are we out of initiative now, Tom? Yeah. Ethan is trying all his power to open that chest, all his magical power. Uh, any traps on the chest? Um, what's your check? Bonus? Um, I've got advantage. Or... Oh, your, pass, your perception? Yeah, no, you don't see any traps in the chest. You do, however, from here, detect a uh, where that acid smell is coming from. Um, you think the floor just past the entrance is uh, got like a uh, maybe a vat of acid underneath it. And looking carefully, uh, the stonework looks unusual on the floor. It looks like it might collapse under any, any significant weight. And uh, you can kind of trace it out with a careful, careful look. Looks like that area there would collapse into a vat of acid. Okay. Um, well, we know where to get some acid. I'll open the chest. Okay. Put it everywhere you want to be when he wants to open the chest. Everyone good? All right. <clears throat> Jasworth, you good? Everyone roll initiative, please. I guess so. I'll be the only one on this side. All right. A granite ball as wide as the corridor rolls down from a hidden hatch in the ceiling. The hatch you guys spotted. And begins tumbling down the stairs. It moves at the top of a round. Huh. Its first move was one square, basically taking it down to the ground. It'll move two, within four, etc. If it enters your space, uh, or you enter its, it's trying to go past it, 15 acrobatics to leap over or struck for 4d10 bludgeoning and prone, knock prone. All right, and so its first move was down to the ground. And Dusty, you're next. So it is where that dotted yeah. line is right now. It, okay, it and it's and it look and it's gonna move like towards eight hand, right? Yeah. All right, let me just check a few spells here. It's a creature. Did you do raries before the day started? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. Um... I mentally say to Jazreth, tell me if Atan gets squished. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um... 
quickly looking at it, how much do I think it weighs? Mm. Let's see. Probably went three pounds. No, probably point two five pounds per cubic inch. And let's say it's um, <clears throat> twelve inches by five feet is sixty. So sixty times sixty times sixty times point two five. Um, fifty four thousand pounds. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I feel like Barbarian can lift it. <laughs> I, I think you just made every spell in D&D useless. All right. Um, what? What are you talking about? Like telekinesis or anything. <laughs> that's wait. All right. Uh, no, no, that's the density of stone. It's 0.25 pounds per okay. cubic inch. Actually, that, the density of steel is 0.3. If it was aluminum, which is pretty light, it'd be 0.1. And that'd still be way too heavy for telekinesis. <clears throat> Science. Yeah, except that's not in the PHP. All right, I will... So wait, 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 wait. What does the PHP say it weighs? I don't want this passive-aggressive calling me out on this stuff. <laughs> well, so, we so you tell me you tell me what the stone block weighs. We'll that's get back to your turn. You you think about it. Victor, your turn. Wow, all right. You know, I'm serious. You go find out what it weighs. No, I'm, I'm being serious too, man. I, we're joking around. Like... We're all calling each other out, like no big deal. Yeah, but you, like, then you passively you, you aggressively you passively no. aggressively call me out on something. Say it straight. You think I'm wrong? No, I don't think you're wrong. It's like, oh man, you broke the spell. That's all I'm saying. I broke. How did I break the spell? I, I, I'm not saying you act. That's what I'm saying, man. I was joking around all the right. way everyone else jokes around. Take your turn. All right, I moved. Wall of force in front of it. Uh, I'll encircle it if I can. Like, completely contain it. Okay. All right. So it's stopped inside the wall of force. Nice. <clears throat> he ain't squished. <laughs> oh, I think he's getting... Oh. <laughs> I was, I was going to I was gonna lift a fan up above him. Okay. Very good. Uh, anything in the treasure chest then, Tom? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see here. Yeah, you find an invisible key when you reach your hand in there and feel around. Would it's Papa awesome. Zodal tell him about the trap? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I uh, warn everybody about the pit trap okay. and so we can negotiate around it and help people across and stuff. Okay. Yeah, How many keys like... do we have now? A bunch, I think. Do, do, do we know what the keys are for yet? I don't remember seeing anything about keys. Me neither. But, That's what I was going to ask. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. I, I was worried I wasn't paying attention. as a crucial part. You just need to put them all on a keychain. You I, can be like uh, Schneider from... I think day. Tom gave something away on that skull because uh, he never described those as keys before. Was it the same type of skulls from the other I with did, the triangle? You, you might have missed it. Okay, all right, I did. I mean, <clears throat> they all, yeah, one is three-sided, one's four-sided, one's five, one's six, I think. I fill the invisible key and see <coughs> if I can fill how many sides it is. Uh, not at all similar to those. Just not like at all similar. Just like a regular skeleton key. So if I use the lantern of revealing to look at the invisible key, what do we see? Uh... Uh, a little skeleton key. Does this uh, coffin have a keyhole? Uh, oh, wait. Let's see. It might. 55. Can I ask, Tom, what does my ghost lantern actually do? Like, I have a ghost in there. Does it answer questions or something? You Makes can you talk a lot to smarter, it. Josh. You can talk to it, yeah. Yeah, yours doesn't work. It, it's kind <laughs> of broke. It's like if you'd read the adventure, it tells you everything in the adventure. <laughs> so I just need to get a copy of the book. Yeah, just get the book out. That's what it does. <laughs> no. Um, so the spirit inside it is named Starfallen. It speaks common, mm -hmm. elvish, sylvan, and is mostly forgetful of the past. So even though the spirit was in here, you might not know, or it might not know anything about the place. So it's useless. <laughs> Can't remember nothing. Oh, but I can use Mage Hand. Yeah, it's a Mage Hand. Shit, I didn't know that. All right. 
It'll, st it'll come out and stabilize you. It'll also stabilize you. That's cool too. And shed light. But I was I was <laughs> I was hanging crap on uh, <laughs> Shane for not using Mage Hand. I could have done it the entire time. That's right. I okay, now back to the room. Um, okay, marble columns support the ceiling of this grand tomb. Staircase ascends to the upper gallery, where a carving in the form of a giant maze adorns the wall. On the floor of the tomb stands an opaque crystal sarcophagus. That's constantly changing color. Um, yes, when you get close enough, you can see a tiny keyhole. It is not the same size as the invisible key, though. Hmm. All. What about the jade key? The jade key, not the same size as that either. Multi-sided keys. What was that? Yeah, we'll try all the keys we have. <laughs> and any of the multi -sided ones. None of them are the right size. Nope. Uh, any traps on the? Here, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <clears throat> Are we in the room? Sure. At this point. Yeah, you guys can all go past the. Uh... You have to set some boards up or something. I don't know what you'll use, but you can find something. I'm sure. We use a tan. We can jump it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of you can jump it. That's true. He's good at planking. Yeah. <laughs> Strong abs. <laughs> Uh, Kruger goes up and touches the maze. All right, put you guys where you want to be when Kruger gets up and touches the maze. All right, I, I'll, I'll be up next to him since. And you sure just told me he's gonna be there. Maze. You stand. Oh, first the carving. So this is what you see. Uh, the intricate carving shifts before your eyes. Its configuration ever changing. The maze has no exits, and its corridors are lit by tiny torches, and clouded by fog. When you touch it. <clears throat> Uh, Kruger disappears. Kruger disappears. I'm gonna move you over here. I'm going to ask all, right. all of you to roll initiative. Cause Kruger or everybody? Everybody. Oh, sorry. Atan is startled, grabs onto you, Jazrus, so he doesn't fall back in the ass a bit. <laughs> Secret doors slide open. Uh, you had spotted them, Z. Um, uh, but Kruger went up there and touched the thing anyway. So you know there's secret doors on the on the lower level. You, you, so you guys can all change position because Z would have warned you about that. And probably while he was warning you about that, you guys were distracted looking at those secret doors. That's when Kruger went up and touched the uh, maze. So everyone can get away from those secret doors. Yes. All right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So the secret doors open up, and you have. That many of them? You see a tunnel leading out the back of one of them. And you see in every one of them. Piles of bones rise up into the bones of a minotaur. <laughs> and Kruger, wow. you can roll initiative too. Yeah, I did. Uh, I'm Is up there. Familiar? The one character that could fix that problem is currently not there. <laughs> so I'm tempted just to touch the maze too. Z, yeah, you might be our escape. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go down to there and attack that dirt bag. Uh, Fifteen for seven bludgeoning. Hopefully, it works the same as yeah, the other skeletons. Fourteen to him. Second attack. Twenty-five for twenty then. Got it. Uh, 15 for 14. 14, got it. Come, come back to there, done. Your turn, Dusty. All right, I'm going to tell everyone, pardon me, not to get in the way of the rock. 
I'm going to release concentration on the wall of force. Okay. Let that rock crash back down in, and uh, the one that got hit, I will move over here. Uh, I will move over here and try to touch him up a little. Now, does acid, when the rock, does it go into the acid pool? You don't know. Oh, it, it starts over on speed, so it'll go at the top of the round, oh, it'll it. go one square, then two, then four, and then... Got it, got it, got it. Um, that round's over. I'm all good. And then... After that, see Jazrith, your turn. Oh, Are you going to touch wow. the maze, Dusty? Uh, do I think that takes an action? No, you don't. Oh, and actually, standing guess? where you're standing, Dusty, you can see a Kruger wandering around in the maze. A little miniature Kruger. And Kruger, oh. you can see a giant distorted <laughs> version of Dusty in the sky above you. All right, not touching the maze. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, I'll let everyone know. I was going to say, can you mage hand him out? It's just like that movie Downsizing. Nice. <laughs> Funny. Uh... The cleric. <laughs> <laughs> Did that, you, has that movie come you, out? <laughs> but you, but you might like be able to you. direct him out of the maze. Uh, going down the stairs is difficult. Uh, yes, is up and down. Yep. Five, six. Um, what does, what does Atan go? Did you roll his initiative? Did I? I thought no. I did. Well, he's not in the initiative order, at least. He got a five. Yeah. He's right there. One. Four, so I'll get down in front of him. Okay. <laughs> and I will uh, ready. He's looking at Jazrith. He's looking at the maze. He's looking at Jazrith. He's looking at the maze. <laughs> Kruger, your turn. So I would like to try to get out of the maze. Okay. Uh, roll a d100 for me. Oh, what do you want to do? Just by trying to find a way out of it? I see a giant Dusty. I wonder if he can point me somewhere. Um, he's like insubstantial. Insubstantial. Okay. He came in. <clears throat> he came and tell which way he's pointing. In there. So, do you want to? What do you want to do? Um, um, when I was looking at it, do I re remember any any details about it before I touched it? Uh, let's see. No, as far as like what hallway you might be in or something like that. No, you don't. Let's see when you're in the maze. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, you stand in a passageway walled by smooth, featureless stone, which is lit by torches and shrouded by fog. There's no ceiling, and when you look up, you see a distorted view of the room you left behind. The wall is 15 feet high and 20 athletics check to climb, if you want to just climb to the top of the wall. Uh, well, yeah, I'll try to try to climb up. Okay, make an athletics check. Uh, I'll guidance myself first. So, no. Is guidance bonus or standard action? Uh... <laughs> so it doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter. It doesn't no. matter now, but I think it is an action uh, guidance. Um, Kruger's done. Skeleton's turn. Da, 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 da. This guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gets to there. He's done. Skeleton. One, two, three, four. Jasper, you got ready to attack? I do. Go for it. Alright. There we go. There we go. And that. And that. 20 for 9 bludgeoning, which is 18 yep. for fire. 22. 22. Got it. Okay, then it attacks you with this great axe. Oh, wait. It was there. One. I only got one square. So, great axe. This is it 11? It's miss. Oh, wow. They do some damage. Yes, they do. Who's there? Who's there? Maybe one of them's dumb enough to step on the pit. Atan's looking over Dusty's shoulder. Reaching his finger out slowly towards the carving. <laughs> Skeleton goes to there. Skeleton goes to there. Said so, Lolly, your turn. 
Okay. Um, <clears throat> looking at the uh, map, does it look like there is an exit to the maze? <clears throat> no. Look at... he, just, he said there's... Oh. There is no exit. You don't see one. So the carving of the maze... Looks like that. Oh, it has no exits. Oh, it's ever-changing configuration. Okay. All right. Well, never mind. I had a whole plan that I was going to make a map and go in there and lead them out, but <laughs> instead I'm just going to go over here. Good job. We'll almost give you inspiration for that. <laughs> I was really excited about it. And I hear your sarcasm. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go here, and I'm going to attack 24 for 7. 16 for 11. Okay. All right. Ten. Skeleton. Focus there. All right. Z, your turn. Uh, go to there. 31 for 32. Got it. 31 for 26. Dropped it. Dropped him. Go to their flurry, uh, the one that's in the room that's hurt. Okay. Uh, 24 for 14. Still up. Shoot. Uh, and then on the one uh, straight south, 12 for 10. 12 for 10. And then come back, done. And Z's done. Dusty, your turn. If that's bludgeoning, uh, would that be doubled? Would it be 12 for 20? Oh, gonna... yeah, because I didn't say it. 12 for 20. Oh, sorry. Got it. I'm going to tell A10 that it's a really bad idea to touch that thing. A10 trusts you. <laughs> he doesn't want to trust you, but he does. Uh, I'm going to move here. Uh, the one third, the, the third one south of Jazareth, I'm going to target with the one to wonder standing nice, here. Nice, nice. 56. Darkness. Darkness. Oh, shit. <laughs> 50 of right. radius. Uh, um, let's see. You can't do a creature with a darkness point. Not Warner carry. So it'll be right adjacent to him. Okay. And I'm just going to grab a copy of a to use as a darkness marker. Well, Jazz, my thought was if it was a lightning bolt or something, like it wouldn't actually hit awesome. you, but... It's all good. Okay, so that's darkness in that area there. Okay, uh, anything else, Dusty? Uh, no, no, I didn't. After Dusty. Victor. All right, I am uh, invisible for this first shot, and the guy directly south... Crit for twenty six. Nice. And then my uh, bonus shot on the guy next to him that's almost dead. Fourteen for twenty two. Dropped him. Okay, and then my second attack would be a whopping ten. Miss. Do you get another attack or do you do something else? I think that's it, right? Or do I get one more attack? You just get one more if you did. Okay. Okay. I get one more. Yeah, your horde breaker is not an action at all. Oh, okay. So does the 12 hit? Uh, 12 does hit, yes. For 19. 19, okay. Jazareth, your turn. All right. This guy right in front of me. 18 for 18 and 4 is 22. It. And 27 for 26. Dropped him. All right. Guys, you're moving away from these things. That's not a good idea. One, two, three. I'll move up. That's darkness in there. You want to be in the darkness? Oh. Uh, I'll move right. Uh, shadows there. Mm. All right. One, two. I'll move up to here. Okay. Kruger, your turn. Explore okay, the maze, guess, climb the wall, do anything else? Uh, I'll explore the maze. Okay, roll D100. 
87. Something's going to happen with that, I'm sure. That's got to be good. That's got to be, be good. good. Yeah, definitely. 87. You find Matt Damon. <laughs> you find... <laughs> Blowing Ben Affleck. <laughs> you find a blue crystal key lying on the ground. Oh, hey. I found a key. You know, when Matt Damon hears that, when he's listening to the replay of this, he's going to really have his feelings. <laughs> he's going to be, yeah, really mad. No, uh, he's what not. You, what I'm do you want? What promoting do you do? his movie. What do you want to do with the key? Uh, I'm going to pick That's it up. Sure. All right. As soon as you pick it up, you teleport. Boom. To there. Oh, that's good and bad. <laughs> yeah. So that was a, um, there's your action to explore, and then you pick up the key, action to move, and you pick up the key, and then boom, teleport. So you're done. Skeletons. Should Ace Hand go in there and look and see if there's more keys? Boom, charge, <laughs> door, tens of miss. Skeleton can't see you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Goring, Jazzrith, you want to shield that Jazzrith or take it? Uh, ooh, yeah, shield. Shield? Okay. You don't take 27 yep. damage. Um, then the skeleton here. One, two. Three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight gets to there. And then this skeleton in the darkness. Stay here. And over here. And gore attack. Tens of miss and Atan steps up next to the mural. Uh, skeleton's turn. This one goes up after Sitlali. Gore yeah. attacks at Lolly. 14's miss. And then this guy yeah. goes there. So, Lolly, your turn. Alright. Uh, attack. 14 for 10. 19 for 9. Nice die. Got it. Okay, after Salali. Skeleton's turn. That's what I call it, too, is taking the puppy out. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of that round. Z, your turn. Oh, uh, I've got to help the uh, Kruger out. I got it. Uh, oh, so, okay. Hey, oh, I, I was thank you. okay. Um, I, I shout to these Minotaurs. Don't you realize who I am? I just conquered your Lord Karagos. Bow before me or die. This take the feel the same fate. And. Uh, 22 for 32. 32, nice. 28. For 20, dropped him. Um, go down over the side. Uh, 25 for 12. Dropped him. Back up top, done. Dusty. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, one, two. One, two, three. So, what do I think it would take to uh, hop down off of this thing? It's um, 15 feet up. Ouch. All right. So, a feather ball. Would I still have movement at the end of the feather fall? Um, or, would it, or, would it, or would it count as movement? be taking up time. What's feather fall? Yeah. Speed rise. You fall at 60 feet per round. So um, your 15 feet of falling would take 5 feet of movement. Alright, so basically 1, 2, 3, 4. So I think I can get up next to get up next to Kruger, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, and I will ready uh Already a dimension door for after his turn. Okay. After Dusty, Victor. So I can see the guy poking his head out? Yeah. Give me just a minute. Oh, do I think that's the one to hit or not? I do. Uh, I'm going to shoot him. I'm going to bonus action. No, I'm not going to move my hex to him. I'm going to just shoot him. 15 for... Oh, shit, I hit the wrong thing. Oh, well. 
I'll take it though. 15 for 8. 15 for 8 on the guy by Kruger? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 17 for 20. 20, okay. And then uh, my last shot, 15 for 18. 18, got it. Okay, after I'm, Victor. I'm back. Chazrith. Hey, Just perfect timing. Time. I know. All right. 16 for 22, 23. Okay. And uh, the guy right behind him can have six. 16 for 23 and six. Got it. And then attack number two. 20 for 24. Got it. After Jazz with Kruger. Okay. Um, let's see. This is round three. I forgot. <coughs> forgot to tell oh, you a little, ball. a little something. Oh. oh, yeah, the ball. That's one thing. It's rolling down. This has been the second round has been rolling, I think. So yeah. it moved there the first round. The second round, it goes crashing through the floor. Now there's just an open pit, and the ball goes crashing down into the pit. Um, that happens there. Now the uh, that sarcophagus, the tomb, um, a pit crystal sarcophagus that's constantly changing color. So, um, let's see, round one, it was blue. Round two, it was gold. And this is round three currently, and it's currently purple. And, and your turn, Kruger. What was the color key he found? Blue. Okay. I'm going to turn undead. Should hit them all. Okay. 17 wisdom saves. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. One. Made it. Two. Failed. Three. Failed. Four. Made it. Five. Failed. So one and four made it. The other ones failed. The ones that failed, I'll give the heart to. And what else do you want to do, Kruger? Uh, wait for Dusty to get me the hell out of there. Uh, Fine. Bruce Den, Dusty, your turn. Oh, well, we'll bamp up. Uh, I'll move him up here with the Dimension Door spell. And after Kruger's done, Dusty, you can remove your concentration. Um, Skeleton's turn. First Skeleton is not banished, attacking Jazz with a Great Axe. Nine's a miss. Next Skeleton is turned. He goes back to there. Next Skeleton is not turned. He goes to there. And then A10, you sure I shouldn't touch it? Skeleton's turn. He goes to there and to the lolly. Wit. I'm going to double move to right here. After the lolly, Skeleton's turn. Goes to there. And then Z, your turn. Um, one, two, three. Go to there. 26 for 14. Still up. 21 for 30. Gone. There. 21 for 14. Dustin. I have to win South of Jazz. I think. Eleven. Finished them. Okay. And you guys can pick off the other ones pretty easily. So, now, that sarcophagus, the crystal sarcophagus, is um, changing colors and it's cycling through. I'll just uh, put it to the screen as you guys observe it. 
I would think you want to match the colors up. It's going blue, gold, purple, green, red, black, and then blue again. Uh, can I use the blue key on it when it's blue? You bet. So, you insert the crystal key, the lid disappears. And also something else happens. Let's see here. An arcane sigil appears uh, over your clavicle. Um, you guys, well, Dusty, you recognize it. It's a Sararax arcane sigil. Oh. And you know in your head, um, Kruger, that you are immune to piercing and slashing damage from non-magic attacks but you're vulnerable to bludgeoning damage. And you know that that effect will last for 10 days. Cool. Well, that's good. Uh, <laughs> okay. Is, is there anything else in the chest? Oh, yeah. Um... These nuts. <laughs> yes, there is. No one slap him on the back. <laughs> the sarcophagus is filled with salt, within which are buried ten opalescent uh, bracelets worth 75 gold each, made from the shell of a flail snail, and a shiny multicolored robe. And there is evocation magic on that robe. Well, there you go, Jazza. Jer Jeremy? Jazareth, you said you wanted the snail. Sure. Touch it. Yeah. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. As you touch the robe, slime pours from its folds to take the form of a multi-flail like, multiple flail like pseudopods, and a female voice echoes through the chamber. I can help you. At least I think that's what I'm supposed to do. You want to resist or not? Nope. Okay. Um, you get. Uh, let's see here. Let's undo. Oh, you're gonna like this a little bit. Neutral, oh. self-absorbed, indecisive. I am incapable of making a decision. <laughs> uh, you have no enemies, and you have a 23 con. Oh, nice. Yeah. Holy cow. Gets me some more hit points. Yeah. And what's the robe? And the robe. I have a link for it. Why don't you tell us, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's it's a, a robe of, of the Ark Magi. <laughs> robe of a scintillating con colors. Con Three con goes from a 14 to a 23. That's, awesome. that's uh, four times nine. 36 more hit points. Wow. And you can uh, basically stun everything. Till the end of your next turn, when that's a 15 wisdom like save to gain. It doesn't blow up if you use all the charges either. It doesn't, no. Careful though, because it doesn't discriminate either. Right. Yeah, so you want to be 30 feet away from your friends when you use that. Now, Tom, can we shut our eyes when we know he's going to do it? Mm, no. Okay. Why don't you think about that for a minute? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so we'll go through this passageway over here. Okay. Uh, let's take a break. Um, break okay. till uh, uh, two minutes after. I now have beefy hit points. Well, you have to do like 100 now or something? 100, well, with the aid, 122. Wow. <laughs> I think a nice. new death order is a fiend. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm back. Hey, did he tell us what that mace does? What mace? The one that Lolly has? No, the or the scepter or whatever it is. No, we don't know what that does yet. Guys, watching the football game too? Nope. Not a football fan. No, I don't care about sports. I guess Tom was saying this crazy thing about this season. There's not enough adventures to get us from uh, five to ten either. The, playing all of the season sevens wasn't enough, even with Meat Grinder, to get you to five. Definitely a weird season in that respect. think it's a byproduct of them actually releasing tier 3 and tier 4 content I mean they'd either have to just like release a whole bunch more adventures or yeah but you can't uh, play your guy that you built up through the whole season in the tier 3 and tier 4 content though yeah let's you just have to play some other season mods yeah well it, I mean the, the higher level stuff is made for other characters that you've played that's like the, that's been like the big trade off uh. Yeah, you passed me, Jeremy. I've only got a hundred and three. It's a beefy contour. It is. For very rare, that robe is kind of not that exciting. I guess three, uh, three potential group stuns a day is pretty nice, but you can stun your own guys too. How many hit points does that take you to? 120 something, right? Wow.
Jeremy, are you in Georgia? Where are you at? Um, Carolina, right? Yep, just outside of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, all right. Didn't know if you were... Uh... Excited about this Georgia game or not? I'm, I'm, I'm liking Georgia beating their ass. Ready for something new besides yeah, I, Bama. Yeah, I just don't like Alabama. And then there's a guy throwing a tantrum on the sideline. You see that? I just watched just a minute of it when I went inside. He went after one of his own teammates. <laughs> Stay classy. I guess after this is the last we've got in this, and then we go down. Have another secret door back in the throne room? Uh, no, it led to a stairwell. Oh, that's right. Did you watch the? Did you get caught up on Star Trek, Kirk? Yeah, I watched the new episode last night. Hey, oh, there's new you... episodes already. Shut up! Shut yeah. up! I haven't seen it. That. Just it started it just uh, last night. Oh, yeah, I got to see that. So no talking about that. <clears throat> Text each other like girlfriends I'm, I'm... or whatever. I'm pretty impressed. I'd, I'd text you like a girlfriend yeah. too, Casey. No. <laughs> did you uh, did you watch that show Happy at all yet? No, I haven't. <clears throat> I've been oh sick as God. shit the last two days. Yeah, they put you on a new AIDS cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> no Happy pun intended. Birthday cocktail oh is there a new episode nope Tom must be taking a shit at streaming. I'm starting to think you guys may actually have a chance with Jazzworth at 120 hit points. <laughs> You've done zero short rest so far. I think I can death ward half the group at this point. And you death ward everyone, yeah. Well, not might, everyone, just just have, a few. Might have a chance. All right, so you've done zero short rest. You want to press on? Yeah. Through that uh, yeah. chamber there. Yeah. Into here, where you find a strange device. Chris's dildo. That's it. It's not, it's not strange. All right. The room contains a wooden cabinet with a numbered dial at its top set with two ornate metal spokes. Beneath the dial, a pendulum swings inside an open compartment. An egg-shaped stone adorns the pendulum's tip. Art, just go away. It does eventually. I forget how long it lasts. Did you say we did take a short rest? No, you did not. Okay. No. I, I didn't think. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, yep. So I don't see anything about a clock in the uh, little thing. In the book. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, Satali, you coming up behind me? I need this. Uh... Yeah. You're my uh, my handmaid, manservant. Sure, go with that. <laughs> uh, inspect the clock. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to kind of go over to here, and I'm going to just uh, sit down. Okay. All right, inspecting the clock, uh, you don't see anything odd. What time does it say it is? Um, let's see. It is 36 past the hour. Uh, anything in the compartment? Um, A pen, an egg-shaped stone. Right. So you see that. You see a pendulum swinging inside an open compartment. An egg-shaped stone adorns the pendulum tip. You don't see anything else in there. If you guys will give me a second. Oh, I'll Dusty. Cast a tech oh, you, yep. det you detect magic? Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast it, yeah. All right. So you detect magic. Okay. Um, there's transmutation on the clock. Sorry, I got distracted. What was that 5d10 plus 5 roll for? 36 minutes past the hour. Oh, great. And now it's actually 46 past the hour because you waited 10 minutes. I guess I'll do an... Uh, I'll grab. Can I grab the stone? Set it to midnight. So you you grab the stone. Is. All right. I, I, um, there is an invisible oh. door blocking that open compartment. You cannot grab the stone from its open hand. Uh, invisible door. Yep. Shane, what's the door look like? Since you can see with that lantern. Well, what we can all see it. Oh, we'll bust out the lantern. Bust and take out a look the lantern. At it. Okay, you see there is a keyhole in the door. Oh well, let's use the invisible key. Hey, invisible right. key! It opens right up, and you can take out the uh, treasure. <clears throat> the egg-shaped jewel fixed to the tip of the pendulum is the fabled navel of the moon. It's worth two thousand five hundred gold, but it can fetch up to three times that value if sold at auction in any major city. Ever make a, a intelligence history check? See if you know anything more about the stable of the moon. 16. <clears throat> You're looking for 20. Yeah. I got a zero. That's good. Okay, no, you don't know what the navel of the moon is. Did Dusty roll? No. Not, not oh, good. This yeah, case. dang it. Okay, but... Um, so, do you... Uh, Want to sell it for... Three times the value, seven thousand five hundred, <laughs> and possibly let it fall into nefarious hands. Yes. Uh, can we? Yes. How, how about? Yeah, I how hear about, yes. How about we uh, ask a historian or sage or something like that when we get back to town if they know anything about the navel of the moon before making a decision? You can do that. Um, <clears throat> they will tell you. <coughs> <coughs> It's said to be carved from a chunk of the moon. Uh, it's a polished egg-shaped stone given as a gift by the ruling uh, ruler of Caliport to his sailor daughter so that anyone who holds the stone can always find their way home to their loved ones. That doesn't sound bad. Yeah. All right, yeah. Then let's sell the... 7,500 gold. Okay. That's it for that room. All right. Uh, I guess we're ready to go down the stairs. From looks the secret door. Looks that way. The spiral well, Hold on, wasn't there wasn't there another secret Did we go into the other secret room? Uh, what other stairs. secret room? Was there a... Oh, 
where the uh, sh got, uh, the one with Bodak the came out of? Do you think there's something back in there? Uh, well, uh, Shane sent something in there and it blew up, so you can go in there and find out. I think that was the Bodak that did it. I think that no, once we, we killed, killed the... We killed the Bodaks and then he did it. No, he didn't. He did it before we killed the Bodaks. All right, so you guys okay. going to go down this uh, spiral staircase. You have your uh, Lucanu, Zal, and Zolbris, and Biff Longsteel. Biff actually wants to go with you, if you'll let him. Sure. Uh, the other three will stay behind. If you want to relocate them, they'd be, they'd relocate for you. Or do you want to leave them in that central chamber? Well, if they're wanting to help us against a Sarerac, they should probably go down with us. Go okay. down. Go down the next level down? Okay, they will. Yeah. yeah. They'll trail behind you. Let you take whatever's down the bottom of the stairs. Okay. Copy all you guys. Next level. This is the same room that I saw earlier, Tom? Uh, no, these stairs come down into a different room. So you come to the bottom of the stairs, and there's a door to the east and a hallway to the south, and um, there's some strange gray liquid on the floor down that hallway to the south. Um, <clears throat> uh, puddles of viscid gray slime cover the floor there. So which way do you want to go? You could tip to or around the slime if you want. Might yeah, be ooze or something. If someone wants to like shoot it, I'll fire bolt it if you want. Or I can radiate bolt, whichever. Yeah, someone do something like that. All right, I'll put the owl in his pocket and then I'll fire bolt. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Seems to have no effect and it doesn't react like it's a creature, so that's good news. All right. Yeah, uh, we'll Z, you can shoot it. the radiant bolt. It yeah. actually destroys a patch of it. The radiance does. Oh, nice. Uh, I'll clear it out. Okay. All right, and then you go down into the hallway. The hallway <coughs> turns the corner. You see more of that stuff. I just assume you'll clear it all out as you go. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. There's a secret door at the, at the end that you sp <clears throat> spot. <clears throat> just check if traps and all that good stuff, and look through mm -hmm. inside. Hallway going that way, and looks like connecting to that first room you came down into, to the north. <clears throat> and to the south, some cobwebs and dust and stuff. So you clear away the, the ooze to the north, and mm -hmm. then to the south you see. This hall is choked with dust and cobwebs. Up ahead, flickering lights dimly illuminate a larger hall. Uh, where the two halls meet, words have been scrawled on the ceiling in dried blood. They read, Awaken Napaka. Okay. Um, I say, Awaken Napaka. Nothing happens. She was the one who had the scepter. Maybe yeah. pulled out the scepter. Hey, Tom, you never said... What, is the scepter anything? Um... It has transmutation magic on it. It's a steel with a adamantine head. And we didn't feel a spirit or anything no, when we pulled it out? No, no, no spirit. I can, I can identify it if you guys want. Yeah, that'd be good. Time. Okay. Where do you want to do that? Identify it? Uh, Back in the hallway where Z's standing? That sounds good. Okay. Sound good to you guys? Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. It has a singular purpose. Your identify reveals. Uh, let's see here. Is this it? To hit Josh in the face. I like it. <laughs> let's see. 
Identify scepter. Singular purpose is to destroy a construct named after Napaka. Wow. That's oddly specific. Yeah. <laughs> so who's carrying it? <clears throat> Z, you carrying it? Um, it's basically a mace. So that's a simple weapon, not a monk weapon, but a simple weapon. Um, actually, uh, Jeremy, you want to carry it? Sure. All right, uh, looking down around the corner. Everyone get in position when you step to the corner to look around. The uh, Minotaur and those people will wait at the bottom of the stairwell until you come and get them. Biff is going with you. <laughs> Atan's going with you. <laughs> Atan's still showing darkness. Uh, da, 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 da. I can see. Does Biff have any magic on him? Negative. <clears throat> He's the bravest fucker I've ever known. <coughs> Atan's the bravest fucker you ever known. Or crazy. He's retarded. He's yeah. <laughs> He's not right in the head. Okay. You uh peek around the corner and you see a long hallway. Uh ascending to the west uh with a slight incline that direction. You see large puddles of gray slime spread across the floor of the gently sloping hallway. Candles flicker on riveted sconces, casting dim light across a sequence of sculpted reliefs depicting humanoids with bestial heads kneeling before a black star. At the lower end of the hall, a thick purple drape hangs wall to wall. And you see one of those skeletons. Roll initiative. Huh. Bye-bye, skeleton. <laughs> It's going to be over fast. All right, Dusty. Yikes. Uh, the the slime in that corridor have not been burned away yet because he just came up to it. The, right, cor the corner you're go. standing in it is, though. I'm going to move up here and dodge. After Dusty, Jazrith. <clears throat> All right, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'll just dodge. Also, said Lolly. I will dodge. Kruger. Or now Z. already an attack to. Uh, <coughs> already a. Um, no, I'll dodge. All right, Z, go for it. Uh, Tom, I can, uh, there's no slime on the wall, is there? There is not. Okay, I'll go along the wall. Okay. And. Uh, Miss. miss. Uh, 22 for 28. Uh, he explodes. And another skeleton key. Grab it and then get rid of the slime. Alright, slime is gone. So now you stand in this hallway. Is that a door straight south, Tom? No. no. Oh, okay. Um, go along the wall. Uh... Josh, you want to be right behind me when I move this curtain, because this could be bad. You bet. That's how I do. All yeah, right. everyone get in position. I'm going to take one step back, though. You just don't wanna... <laughs> I'll pull from this side. Okay. Okay, Tim. <laughs> hey, Tim, you're the hey, man. Hey, Tim, do you want to be one of my followers? Papa Zoda. I am one of your followers. the ruler of this under area. I am. I is. I is. I'm also uh, a powerful necromancer. I've heard that about you. Yep. Okay. Feel some mockery going on. <laughs> um, a statue is behind that curtain. Um, a six foot tall statue of a leering four armed gargoyle stands against the back wall. One of its arms is broken off and lies on the floor in front of it. Its hand curled into a tight fist. <clears throat> the other three arms have their clawed hands open in such a way as to suggest they're meant to hold something. Carved into the wall above the statue is a riddle. Three I need, then three more. Three more still opens the door. Um, Joshua's book says the answer to that riddle. Is there anything <laughs> in the hand of the broken arm? Well, it is uh, clenched. 
Let's see. Is there any Broken off, lies on the floor in front of it, its hand curled into a tight fist. If it's like the original <laughs> Tomb of Horrors that this seems to be modeled after, then we need to put <clears throat> gems in its hands. Oh, uh, were there... There were g uh, gems in that sarcophagus. Uh, it was eight. Well. But it could also be playing off of the fact that people know the original Tomb of Horror, so it may need something completely different. And be trying to trick you into saying, aha. Well, uh... <laughs> Man servant, scoot up. And uh, I will go up and put three Satali. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get up here, Natan says. <laughs> Pop his little commands it. Uh, and uh, put three gems in one of the hands. Do you have three gems? No, no, no one, in, one in each hand. Oh, it says three. I, oh, okay. Uh, okay, three, put one in each hand. What three gems? Three in each hand. Three in each hand. Because well, it says three. I, well, need... I know. I know. But... <coughs> Put one in each hand. We do that oh, three times. Uh, we oh, found okay. we found some in that sarcophagus. So eight of them. Let's see what you find. So we just need one more gem. Maybe we should find the gem before we start slotting them. That'd be the smart thing to do, Dusty. The uh, cockroach-shaped jewelry box. It had. Um, it was worth. Oh, those are eight gold. red globes. Okay. Yeah. Do we have any gems? Uh, I don't. Well, I know uh, Dusty has has at least one. He's got a pearl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the jewelry box is made, is set with precious gems. So can we try the gems? I was gonna say the... we've got plenty of uh, the cockroach had pearl eyes and start cannibalizing our treasure. You will uh, basically negate the value of the jewelry box if you do. But there is, is okay? there's enough gems sure. to cry off to use it. All right. That. Okay, I'll do uh, one in each hand. Okay. Let's see here. Three gemstones are placed in the three open hands. The hands close into fists, crush the gemstones to powder, then open again. Uh, do it here. again. They crush the gemstones to powder, then open again. And one more time. Put him where you want to be right before he does that. Where's Sit Lolly? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone good? Make sure you know what's in your hand. If it's in your gear. If it's not what your gear says, then type in something different. Uh, what does my gear say? <laughs> you can shift click on it so you don't have to spam the window. Oh. You can shift click on it so you don't have to spam the window. Ah, uh, got it. Okay. <clears throat> So basically, we can shift click on it. If you don't want to spam the window. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So. Da, 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 six. All right. So you do it the third time. Um, the hand of the broken off arm opens, and a fist sized ruby appears in it. Nice. Um, Tr triggering the trap. <laughs> no, no trap. Um, Grab the ruby. A lustrous spiked ruby as big as a human fist. Gemstone is the fabled Eye of Zaltec, worth 5,000 gold. But oh. can fetch up to five times that value of sold at auction in a major city. I want to see if... Yeah, I'll just check to see if you know what it is. <laughs> and I won't tell you yet if you don't know. Oh! oh Kruger almost knew. I think he's got Stonework Origin. It's kind of like stonework. Anyone else? I'll give it to you for that. Um, the Eye of Zaltec. Dwarves do like gems. For centuries, this fist-sized ruby surmounted the Great Pyramid at Exal, capital city of the Mastican Empire. The gem is a relic of the cult of Zaltec, and its dagger-like point was plunged into the hearts of countless sacrifices. Nice. <laughs> All right. So you can take that, Z. Well, yeah, we'd, we'd okay. sell that. Uh, put everyone where you want to be before Z picks it up. Yeah. 
and then roll initiative. Biff, long cool. steel, 24. Atan, 1. Salali, 2. Twice as fast as Atan. <laughs> and twice as better. <laughs> twice as better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you uh, pluck the gem out of the creature's hand. Uh, the statue opens its mouth and exhales gas that fills the eastern 15 feet of the hall. Um, it's a good poison. Thing, yeah, it's good poison. thing you guys are all immune to poison. Yes. At the same time, a door, a huge door, slides down in the floor. And a juggernaut rolls down the corridor. And that's what the juggernaut looks like. I have a better picture of it somewhere. Do I? Does it say knee pack? Does it say I'm the juggernaut, bitch? <laughs> There's the huge juggernaut. It is got huge roller wheels that span the whole width of the corridor. And it is on the western edge of the corridor. Secret door opens up. And it's right there. And its initiative Wonder is... Boom, 10. Okay. <clears throat> Victor, you are first. Uh, I'm going to stay right where I'm at. What else you want to do? Is the, the Juggernaut is not a creature. It's just this wagon that's coming down the road, right? It is a huge stone wagon. From wall to wall. I'm, yeah. I bet I have some decks I should be sharing. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Awakens. That's it. It is a juggernaut. The wall at the west end of the hall slides back to reveal a huge stone juggernaut on rollers. It fills the height and width of the hall and barrels toward you at alarming speed. All right, so Victor, what, what's oh, alarming, oh. Tom? <laughs> <laughs> alarming. Like you better really rush to get out of its way. Victor. So Victor, uh, move. Yeah, Victor's <laughs> gonna. I'm moving out of the way. Nice. Making way for my boys. Victor, you can have inspiration. And I'm not just joking. <laughs> I believe you're going to take it right away from me. It follows. He seems like that might be a good idea. And he'll just go full defense. He seems to always be full defense. Dusty, your turn. Uh, well, it worked before. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put a wall of force down there. Uh, to let <coughs> All right. Uh, while the force goes up after Dusty Jazrith. Thank you, Dusty. One, two, three, four, five, six. And. Two, three. Oh, no. Yeah, that'll be good. One, two, three. Four. There's still four open squares. And uh, dodge. All right. After. Jazrith. Z, your turn. Uh oh. Oh, where's the wall of force at? Uh, it'll be... Is that a sconce, like, two in front of it? Mm -hmm. uh, the, oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. It'll it'll basically be right there. Okay. Uh, and I'll go ahead and do the floor, ceilings, create everything, but just a box with one opening, just in case. Right. Uh, go to there. And dodge. Um, Juggernaut. Comes crashing against the wall of force. The whole place shakes with the uh, force of that thing hitting the wall of force. Uh, Kruger. <laughs> I'm just going to sit there and stare and laugh. <laughs> and then run out. Sit lolly. I am going to one, two, three, four, five to there. And A Dan will come out. <coughs> Alright. Um, you guys are safe. Uh, you're going to drop it, Shane, so it'll. Uh, yeah, if that's what, if that's what we want to do. Yeah. Well, we want to uh, see what's behind it, maybe. Yep. So, so when we're ready, we'll drop it. A Dan just went. 
you just let me win, Shane. <laughs> Victor? I'm just going to stand here. Full Fifth, defense. Full defense. For my Dusty. action, I'll ready an action to kick AD. I'm going invisible. The <laughs> yeah, well, I'll, I'll drop it once everyone's out of that hallway. Dusty drops it. What else do you want to do, Dusty? I'll keep moving. Jazzrith, your turn. Uh, where are we going, hey, guys? Uh, J Jazzrith, we may want to put you where Atan is in case that is the construct you have to destroy with that mace. <laughs> It's yep. not. That construct's supposed to be uh, something... I don't think it is anyways, because it's supposed to be something that... Uh... What's it say in the book, Josh? <laughs> well, <laughs> the language earlier says it's supposed to be a construct a construct of Nananak or whatever. That well, does maybe not Nananak look... was a giant fucking wagon. We don't know. <laughs> we do, because we saw a picture of her. A oh, yells, yeah, so hand horse. me the scepter! I... I... Oh, Jesus no. Christ, so, don't hand me the scepter! Yeah, I don't. <laughs> rather, I'll just... Take the dodge action. I, I tell A Tan to come by me. Z's yeah. turn. I can get him out of the way. I tell A Tan to come by me. All right. What are you gonna do, Z? That's what I did. That's it. No, the dodge. Juggernaut's turn. It comes rolling down and slows to stop right here. <laughs> Kruger, no. your turn. Can I uh, sacred flame the wagon? Uh huh. <laughs> I'm gonna give that a try and see if it does anything. It fails. Unless it, 20s are automatically. It critted out of 15. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, 11 radiant to it. Um, after Kruger is Lolly. Uh. I'm gonna move. One, two, three, four, five. I'll move to there, and then I will dodge. A-10. Give me the scepter! No. Give it to me! No. Oh, just just <laughs> let the man be a hero. Do it. If we no. lose the scepter because of that, I am going to figure out how to turn off my aura. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. A-10 begs for it. Um, <clears throat> Victor. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna shoot at the juggernaut. Seventeen is a hit. Uh, Twenty is a hit, so that's uh, thirteen is a miss, so that's forty forty-two. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. After Victor Biff, he's gonna do full defense. Dusty. Uh, I tell everyone they probably want to get out of the way. One, two. <laughs> I like it. I'll, I'll I like it. I don't even know what's going to happen. <laughs> and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll just drop my staff and pull the wand out. <laughs> In fact, I, I'll just permanently change. I just have the wand and the lander now. I never have the staff. Yes, it's your turn. Oh, I don't know what I should do, guys. Should do I go it. attack it? Attack <laughs> it with that, that mace. No, I'm not going to attack it with a mace. The one that's, that's not construct. the construct. Just do not it. the construct. I don't. I don't. Jazz doesn't know what to do, so I'll pass. All right, Z, your turn. You know what? Give him okay. the give uh, up on the Altan wall. Go to the there. Copy. Uh, miss. Twenty-three for fifteen bludgeoning. Twenty-one. Oh, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh. 22 for 11. Come back to there. All right. The Juggernaut goes back in, and the wall reforms up. <coughs> All right. A10 says, let me kill it. What do you guys want to do? A I want to punch A10 in the face. <laughs> the Give him the fake, the fake one. Uh, we had, it <laughs> looks exactly <laughs> like it. We left oh, it. Funny. How about you, how about you go grab it from the sarcophagus, and when you get back, you give it to him. <laughs> I'll come how out about... there see if it opens back so, up. So you're gonna plan on? Uh... It does not. You're gonna plan on selling that uh, gem for twenty five thousand gold? Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. All the yes. Let's go check this sconce out. Um, you find a secret, not a secret door, but something interesting up there. Um, 
let's see here. You see a there's a, there's all these you know uh, sculptural reliefs depicting humanoids with bestial heads. There's one with a crocodile head holding up a trapezoidal chest, and you see that Whoa. the chest has actually a real keyhole. Uh, oh, that uh, He's got those jade, trapezoidal that, keys. The, well, the jade key that had the, the that we just took the jewel, jewels out of. Uh huh. It had a, Do we have a, uh, a jade key uh, in it. An alligator head on mm -hmm. it or something like that. Yeah. I'll put I'll put the jade key in there. Right. And yeah, it. it unlocks a little secret passageway. Oh, that's cool. To there. A crawlway that goes uh, to the chamber of the um, juggernaut. And the juggernaut's just, the, just sitting there. We'll destroy it. Uh, sure. Yep. From here, we I'm sure we can. Yeah. And bash it pieces. A ten says, "Use the use the use the scepter." I'm 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 so powerful. I don't need the scepter, A ten. That's why you worship me. Let me try. Go punch it. No, one no goes just him. let him go. No one goes on the scepter, and... though. Right. No. Just uh, just punch it, buddy. <laughs> just like just like Z does. Watch Z punch it. Do the same thing. A ten does, and really hurts his hand. Probably broken. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't yeah. doesn't let on. Okay, Juggernaut taken care of. Now we're... So what's up with the skull on Anything the else in that room, Tom? Uh, no. Okay. Nothing, nothing else there. Um, so th this isn't anything odd? Nope. Okay. Nice metagaming, but no. <laughs> Well, it was just there was a. <laughs> I had to. Uh, I didn't have this end thing covered, so that's why I had to draw the room ah, inside the. Okay, lines so we've of the checked room. everything else in here. Let's go to the uh, the green room. All right, green room. Hold on, is there? Oh, I got a question about the juggernaut. So underneath it, like, there's a door. Is that right or no? Uh, What's no, the grate that it's covering? That's just the. It's just the artist rendition of the juggernaut. Oh, all right. All right. So this room is the room of rot, and there's a passageway out to the uh, west. Room of rot. Uh huh. What is the green stuff? Um, a wild garden of sickly plants and rotting compost. Someone you saw. That's Someone that's you saw poison and disease. Yeah. Should I try it, guys? What's in the, in the middle of the room there? That that deal. That's the sprinkler. This is sprinkler. This is the room you came down in before. Uh, yeah, I slept since then. Yeah. Uh, can I make uh, a? Uh, is that day quote well, kicking I, in on you? Yeah. yeah. Um, can I make a nature check to see if there's anything uh, interesting about this stuff? Uh huh. Sure. And we've got the ma detect magic. We can see if there's anything in it. Yeah. No magic in there. Um, nope. None of the plants are alive or anything. Okay. Can uh, manipulate the sprinkler at all? Mm, see here. No, it doesn't look like there's anything that turns it on. It's just a rusty, okay. <coughs> a rusty sprinkler. All right, that all right. leads yeah. into another chamber. Uh, this chamber here is rather interesting. Rusty sprinkler, isn't that what Kirk calls his cac? <laughs> rusty I thought it sprinkler. was a uh, sex position. That's when you shoot a load in a chick's ass. <laughs> Maybe an El Dorado. That she, that's what they call it. That she sprinkles it. <laughs> yeah, she farts and it sprinkles all over the place. All right. Oh, wow. So this room here. Told you we're not playing any of your fraternity games, Josh. <laughs> this room here, um, an acidic stench fills the chamber. The walls are covered with riveted sheets of iron, and the pockmarked stone floor has a large puddle of gray slime in the middle of it. Freezes along each wall just beneath the ceiling depict five black dragons. The rumble of machinery echoes here. That, that machinery yeah. rebel, I should have described it. It's like everywhere on this level. Just a constant rumbling. Um, get rid of the acid in there. Okay, done. And uh, go on in. Nothing happens. Uh carefully inspect the five freezes of black dragons um, yeah. 
There are tiny holes in the dragon's mouths. Other than that, like, nothing. Like they might shoot acid. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. There's a chance that's true. Um, we'll carefully uh, go across, checking for traps. Okay. Stick a cork in each of it. Do you do that, Jeremy? No. <laughs> okay. A good idea, though. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I will. <laughs> okay, you do. You do. Victor, you oh, do that? Find something to jam in there. That sounds like a great yeah. idea. You do? Done. All right. They're all blocked. All right. So the next room. Uh, get rid of the slime. Okay. Uh, there's a uh -oh. picture here because you see this in the room when you walk in. Whoa. Yeah, it's that right awesome. It's right below the room. And... Uh, room? I'm going to say it's in position three right now. All right, a four-foot-high, seven-foot-wide iron lectern in the middle of the rusty, iron-plated room is topped by a slanted control panel. Set into the control panel are a gold lever with a star-shaped handle, two dials in red and blue, and two buttons of the same colors. Wall engravings behind the control panel show five groups of circles with a small crystal embedded in the wall under each one. The crystal, under the configuration labeled 3, glows bright green. Three six-inch diameter rusty iron pipes jut from the wall above the engravings, they have traces of the same gray slime found in puddles on the rest of this level. And the rumble of machinery echoes here. It looks like... I bet you uh, it controls the configuration of these rooms. That's a pretty good pit. So let's just start flipping stuff and see if we well, can get some new rooms open. Well, well, yeah, but let's all get in, like, one place so we're not spread out. Yeah, let's all get in the <laughs> control room. Yeah, my, uh, my great lord tells me that uh, the blue knobs are good and the red knobs are bad. <laughs> so I will turn the hold blue up, hold knob... Up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Just a second. I'm falling behind here. Chris, are you going to cut? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm coming. Uh, is there like, is there a way I can see that bigger picture again? Um, it's right it's, below the room. Right below the room. Right below. I know, I, but he threw up the big picture. I can. I you can really click see on it. Little picture. Can you click on it? Do you no. have control of it? You can zoom in on it, and it makes it real big. Okay. Mm. You make it just as big as what I just showed on the screen. I'm sure. That's fine. In. Yep. If, okay. if you rub on it, it will get bigger. <laughs> it's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Roger that. Okay, right. so I will turn the blue knob and press the blue button. All right. Turn the blue knob right I'm... or left? Um, left. Blue Tom, knob. I want to I wanna throw away my mace. Do I need to make a charisma save? Uh, no, you can just drop it on the ground. Yeah, I, I'm done with this thing. Okay. It's, it's a so, moron. <laughs> well, hey, hey, guys. So if, 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 the, if you're right about the diagrams... If we turn it left, then we should have. If you turn it left and it goes to number two, then like we're we're stuck. There's no way back into that room. Well, but it looks like. Also, looks like. Uh, kind of looks like what we need to do is have it in position. <coughs> needs to so, be okay. What's so? What's our goal? To get to the third chamber? Yeah. Needs to be in position one, but we can't be in here. Correct. So we need to be... Everybody needs to be in the central chamber except somebody that can get back to the central chamber. Dusty? I can misty step. You can't yeah, be able to see. see. No, I have you'd to be able to see it. Never you'd, have to be, you'd have to be able to, like, dim door. Uh... Okay. Are you good with that, Dusty? Uh, uh, sure. Yeah, I'll try it. Uh, I don't okay. know where my token's at, though. Uh, or is Dusty. Uh, you need to do it blue two times, blue button there twice, and then dimension door back, and it should open. Well, we've got raries. We can tell you if it works. Cool. Okay. Sound good, guys? Yeah, fine with me. And I'll, uh, I'll send my familiar with you, too, just in case. Okay. So you can see through its eyes. So you guys can go to the middle yeah. chamber? 
No, no. uh, uh, it, which, it, what chamber are you going to? Yes. The, the one, the, the guard. The sprinkler room, yeah. Okay. Go to the sprinkler room, everyone. Okay. All right. So, Dusty, what do you want to do? All right, so as in the guys, you said it, it's hit. I, I tell well, turn the left, do the left, turn it to the left and press the blue button. Turn the blue knob to the left and press the blue button. All right, I'll turn the blue knob to the left and press the blue button. Turn to the left, um, and then the gem below the second figure lights up, and the gem below the third figure goes dim. And then you press the button. Uh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, what? What? Uh, it it went to Tom. You said uh, it the blue two turned on. Two turned it's on. It's lit now. Yeah, when you went left, it went left. The gem to the left it... lit up. Okay, uh, so maybe don't hit the blue button yet. Hit hit the okay. left left switch again. All right, I'll hit the left switch okay. again. The crystal below one lights up. The crystal below all the other crystals are dim. Okay, now press the blue button. All right, I'll press the blue button. All right. Um, the entire level trembles. You guys feel the room you're in rotating around. The entryways are blocked off as it rotates into a new position. Do we feel like it's rotating correct towards what we had uh, picked? Let's see here. So it rotates to there, yeah. It opens up to uh, the room to the east. Um, right here. Oops. So there's an opening into the room to the east. You see that? Yep. Yep. There's also an opening to a room to the north. Dust, do you want to come on back now? And uh, well, poisonous gas begins billowing into the room <laughs> that you guys are in. And go ahead and put Savali back where he was. And um, <laughs> uh, mounds of vegetation rise up oh. and become alive. Did you say that's poison gas, Tom? Yeah. Oh, nice. There, there, and there. Okay. Everyone roll initiative on or off the map. And I, I tell I... Dusty what's going on. Yep. So gas is coming from the north there? Yeah, that northern chamber that got connected. Dust is coming from okay. there. <clears throat> Everyone roll your initiatives. And I'll sort them. And let's see, what's the gas do? Okay, so thick green gas billows out, <coughs> billows out of skull-shaped nozzle set into the walls of this cramped room. A rotting corpse, clad in studded leather armor, lies on the floor, mouth open, and hands grasping its throat. Wrapped around one of its arms is a yellow band. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh shit! We saw a picture of this. Oh yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Um. <coughs> Okay, creatures, except those who mean to poison, start their round. Start the round. So the start of the round. All of you <laughs> take this. 19 poison damage, 13 con save negates. Uh, if you mean to poison, you, of course, take that. You can roll for your owl, Shane. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's. It, I think it doesn't matter, right? It negates. Oh, it negates. Con save negates, yep. A10. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Biff Long Steel. Yeah. Like a boss. That's right. Give me that scepter. A10 says. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to use it on the plants. <laughs> All right. Uh, Victor, you're first. All right. I'm going to shoot at the. Uh, mound right by Sit Lolly. Okay. For strong 11. Miss. 22 for 21. 21 seems to hurt it. 
And, and it's... another miss. You hit the wrong button again, it looks like. No, you hit the right button. Never mind. No, uh, I hit the right let's one. Let's see here. In your horde bringer or whatever. So is, that, is that other one adjacent? Can I? It is. Oh, then I'll shoot him. 20 for 23. 23. Okay. Uh, Biff, long steel. He's going to go full defense and back up to there. Hey, <laughs> 10. Give me the scepter. Does he, pro does he provoke oh, from. No, he won't back up there. He'll stay there. Hey, 10. Damn it. Punches. So he would eat the op attack. <laughs> punches the. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, his punch is so strong. It's like a club. He hits for. Is this with his other hand? The two one that's not broken. Bludgeoning. That's right. <laughs> <clears throat> Eight hands done. Jazrith, your turn. Um, I'll go ahead and provoke from that one. He tries to slam you. 20 for 16 bludgeoning. Uh, I will shield that. Okay. Then, I'm pretty sure these guys are resistant to fire, but that's right. 27 for uh, 14 and 4. They are resistant, so right, 18. So 18. Got it. And then the other guy has takes 3. 3, got it. And then bonus action to attack him again. 26 for 9. 9, got it. Okay. Z, your turn. Go to there. Uh, 29 for 9. 28 for 9. Terrible damage. Uh, let's do a stun. Oh, hold on. That's wrong. Stun. Just stun. Uh, yeah. Uh, can't save. Nope. Uh, flurry. 26 for 9. Try it again. Can't save. Got him. And last one with the advantage, 16 for 9. Got it. All right, this man closes here on Jazzerith. Slam, slam, both miss. Uh, Kruger. Uh, bonus action, spiritual weapon on the most injured. Okay. And then regular action, sacred flame, the same okay. one. The auto fails the sacred flame. He hit with the... 13 force. Uh, yeah, just second level. Um, where's the button? Where's the button? There's the button. Another six. Got it. Okay, Dusty, your turn. Hi right, guys, I don't think uh, I don't think I should leave until we know that's the room you need to be in because we won't be able to get back to this room. You can't go back again. Why? Not at the moment. Okay. So. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna do, dodge and, and and wait. Got it. Uh, Mounds turn. Uh, stun. Mounds turn. One through three. <coughs> <coughs> One through three. It's eight hand. Nope. Biff is gonna bite it. <laughs> uh, multi attacking with a slam. Twenty to hit. That hits Biff for fifteen damage. And then slam. Eleven misses Biff. Said Lolly. All right. I'm if gonna... you were a great warrior, maybe you would like to follow me. Biff's Back eyes are wide. Week. I will. I will help me. Twenty-two for twelve. Twenty-two for twelve. Got it. Twenty-four for twelve. Got it. And then that's over. Victor. All right, on the stunned one. <laughs> oh, nice crit for twenty-one. Dropped him. Um, on the other guy that's right there. Oh, nice, another crit for a strong twenty-three. Got it. That was my horde breaker. Then uh, twenty-two for eighteen. Got it. And then my bonus shot, twenty-six for twenty. Got it. After your turn, Biff. Full defense. Atan attacking with his club fist. Hitting again for two more. I got this one, guys. Jazz uh, your turn. Did, did we we hit the top of the round, right? Poison. Yeah, oh yeah, poison. Sorry. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <clears throat> Where is it? There it is. Okay. 
poison, poison, poison. 15 poison, 13 con save, negate. Ooh. A 10, con save. Yeah. Fifth con save. Yep. Hey, Jezreth, is your save correct with your new uh, 23 con? I rolled a natural one, doesn't matter. No, it, it, uh, it saves, does. it does. Yeah, saves aren't automatic values all ones. Oh, so uh, that's three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and five for the aura? Yep. Yeah. Yep. You made it. Oh, yeah. Nice. After so cannot you, fail. your turn, Jasper. So I can, so I can, if I'm in the aura, I cannot fail that save. Yep. You are welcome. Theoretical <laughs> healing. That's right. Nice job, right. Josh. Uh, against this one, 18 for 16. Got it. And 16 for 9. Uh, got it. Okay. Z. Um, go over to here. A ten, I will save you. Biff, I will save you. I got it. See, go get the other one. <laughs> uh, twenty-three for thirteen, and try to stun it. Minus thirteen, stunning. Con save, made it. Uh, uh, twelve probably misses. Miss, yeah. Uh, flurry. Twenty-two for eleven. Stun. Con save. Stunned him. Uh, go over to this one. Last attack. Uh, 21 for 6. Yep. And try to stun it. Con save. Nope. After Z, the mound's turn. You should be down to 2 Z. Used for that round. Uh, mound's turn. Okay. He will attack. Just attacking Jazwith, so slam on Jazwith and slam on Jazwith. 21 Jazwith? Uh, yep, that second one will hit. Uh, 15 bludgeoning. Alright. Kruger, your turn. I'll move my spiritual weapon down to the one that just attacked Jazwith. Okay. Twenty-six for eleven. Nice. Got it. Uh and Sacred Flame him, because he's not dead yet. Uh Dex failed it. To fourteen radiant. That finished him off. Mm, Kruger, you all done? Yep. Okay. Uh, Dusty, your turn. I'm going to keep dodging and waiting to hear from them. Mound stuns. Lolly, your turn. All right. Uh, move. One, one, two. Two right there. Attack that guy. 13, 13. missed. Okay. I hit for 20 eight. for 8. And then that runs over. Here's some poison gas for everyone. Hey, move back. Will you move back a little bit, Josh? Because I need that aura. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, no, because I don't want it. Oh, he's, he's No, Yeah, sorry. Never mind. All right. Yep. Uh, 11 poison, 13 gun save, negate. Oh, no. No. A10 drops to his knees, choking. Dying, dead. <laughs> Biff Longsteel can save. He makes it, crying, screaming for help. Help me, uh, Victor. Your turn. Is he actually dead though, or can I save him? He's actually dead. The poison was too much. He's only got he's only got two hit points. <laughs> 27. Oh, okay. <laughs> he tied out right with the boys damage. 27 for 21, 26 for 21, 26 for 22. 64. Got it. Uh, Biff, full defense. Jazrith. And I'll move closer to Josh so he can. 25 for 50. Yep, 25 for 15, and 28 for 10. All right, and then Z and Kruger and Dusty all finished off. Oh, actually, let's do it. Let's keep going in rounds because the poison's here. Okay, so Jazzwith, uh, you all done? If you got moved, move towards the exit. <coughs> yeah, I guess one, two. I'll move back to here. Okay, after Jazzwith, Z. Z, 28 hit for 9, still up. 
21 hit for 14, dropped him. Then finish your round. Uh, I'll go uh, check up in this room. Is there anything in there, Tom? Uh, yeah, there is inside that room. The uh, the rotting corpse clad in stud other armor, lies on the floor, mouth open, hands scrapping his throat. There's a pack by his side, a pouch by his side, a sword. It'll take you, take you a couple rounds to gather all this equipment to get out of, and yeah, get out of there. Okay. You're all immune to poison, yeah. so you don't care, right? Yeah. Uh, right. He's done. Kruger. Uh, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit in this nice safe aura. Dusty. We just have to get out, guys. So I'll wait for you guys to get out, so I'll Sadali. keep waiting. Okay, I'll move. One, two. Th this is difficult terrain, right? Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right before the poison hits? Oh, <laughs> no. No, I'll stay right here. I'll okay. keep everybody. Here comes poison. I'll, I'll ready, can I ready an action to move? Uh, you can ready to move. move, yeah. You can ready to move. Okay. I'm ready in action to double move after Oops. the poison. Oops, just told you all the treasure was. Uh, here's the gas. Uh, 12 poison, 13 gone, save negates. And then you can take your ready to move, Sitlali. And then, Victor, your turn. Um, Josh, go ahead and move, because I'm going right behind you. It's only a single move, Josh. Oh, it's only a single move? Yep. I, I can't ready to double. One. Your ready is your action, you're ready in your movement. Got it, yep, you're right, sorry. Uh, Victor's gone, Biff's... Oh, Biff, did he make a save? Let's see here, con save. Oh no, he took the, uh, what was it, the stun 12? Yeah. Wasn't he in the aura, though? He was. Yeah, he was. That's a 12. So that's a 12. And he, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Running for the exit as fast as he can. Jazreth. All right, all right. Uh, one. This you said all this is difficult train. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can see into the room. Nine, here. ten. <laughs> Let me tell okay. you, see and you look in there, uh, just in case you don't want to go in there. Okay, there's the room, and it has in it <clears throat> five teak wardrobes, uh, all with carvings in them. So finish up your move, and then Z, your turn. You're gathering treasure, right? Kruger, your turn. Uh, I'll stop right there. You're not going to move into the, the room at all? Uh, nope. Not until Z gets over here and so starts looking for traps. I guess I'll do a move right there. All right, Dusty's uh, waiting. This is Ollie, your turn. One, two. Is that a space I can stand in? Yep, that's good. And then poison hits. This time it's 23 poison, 13 con save, negate. Biff made it this time. And then you guys will get out of the room safely. And you can gather up the treasure over there, Z, which consists of a stud leather armor, a sheathed longsword with a dragon shaped hilt, and basically oh, a cool. dungeoneer's pack, and uh, six carnelian gemstones. So you get all that, and then you guys all get into that room and uh, get rid of the acid. Um, let's two exit ways for that room. Is you guys want me to go ahead and come to you now? Or? Uh, no. no um, I think I we should keep exploring just in case. I mean, I checked. I have one more to get back, but I wouldn't have a way to get out. I thought I'd banish Kirk, but I never did. So taking a look, I don't know, look at the thing. Are there any other like? We, yeah, we need to go to position <coughs> five because there's a exit there also. So yeah, so st so stay there until. So 
turn the well, blue, blue hold knob. On. Wait, wait, hold on. Three also had. We want three, not five. Okay. Because three has two exits out of this room. Is that an exit due five. north right now? Yeah. yeah. Or, so, uh, I mean, describe what the room oh, looks okay. like. Right so, you got five teak wardrobes, all bearing carved images. You can see what they have on them. Uh, you got rid of the puddles of gray. The room has two exits, including an adamantine portcullis blocking a passage to the north. Mm. Set into a metal plate above the portcullis is a row of five red crystals shaped like drops of blood. The rumble oh. of machinery echoes here. Are carnelians, are those red? Yes. Mm -hmm. it says there's six carnelians in that pack pouch. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're, uh, you're right. We want to go to three. So two to the right, Shane on the blue uh, dial and then press the blue button. Okay. All right. I will do that. I will do it. But I'll make sure to, I'll, I'll do the, the turns before I hit the button. Okay. You do, and uh, the, everything shakes and it reorientates itself, and a hallway is available out of the room now to the south. So now what do you want to do? Um, there's a portcullis to the north, right? Right. Well, well, you, can see, you can see down the hallway that it goes around a corner to the north. To the south, the hallway goes around a corner um, to the right. Did we already check all the cabinets? Did we want to take nope. a look at those before? Yeah, let's check everything. And... <coughs> um, Kruger, see the wardrobes. I can recast it. It's, okay, the, the portcullis. Um, the bars look to be adamantine. They're spaced about four inches apart. Uh, the wardrobes don't look like they have any locks or anything, so you should be able to open them fine. Um, nothing else in the room. No secret doors or anything else. Oh, uh, What are you concentrating on there, Kruger? Oh, I put on Detect Magic. And you had that going, or was it you had to wait 10 minutes to do it? I have to wait 10 minutes. Okay. While I'm searching the wardrobe. Yep. Well, uh, do you want to press any of those other buttons while you're waiting, Dusty? Mm, I don't think that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Probably not if I'm suggesting it. <laughs> All right, you don't find any other uh, secret doors or anything. The detect magic goes up, and you detect conjuration magic on every wardrobe. That's odd. Oh, but it's it the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Um, so here, if I open the wardrobe, what does it do? I bet it summons what's in on the face of it. Oh, I see. I didn't see what it said. A uh, scene. Which one is wardrobe one, and it goes clockwise? It goes clockwise, and one is upper right. Okay, I'll uh, Satali. If you want to get this aura over, I'll. Okay. I'm going to open wardrobe one because a bear seems like the. No. <laughs> Wardrobe bear, one. It bears, bears a scene. An yeah. Army of orcs clashing with an army of hobgoblins. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, if Aten, Aten was here, he'd fight the army. In honor of Aten, I open that wardrobe. Do it for Aten. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay. Dust and smoke billow from the wardrobe, and the air around you sound out with the roar of battle. Beyond the doors, armies fight under a blood-red sky that has an iron cube floating in it like a huge, distant moon. Clouds of ash suddenly fly out of the wardrobe, transforming into screaming orcs before your eyes. Uh, let's see here. There. Level 11, here we come, guys. Roll 
might initiative. actually skip level 11 for that. Roll initiative, everyone. I have all the orcs go on 10. Modify 10. If they have higher, uh, they do. So it'll be a turn. I'll be going on 11. <clears throat> okay, Dusty. Waiting. Oh, I'll wait till they say they need help. Okay, Biff. Dodge. Huh. Biff dodges. <clears throat> Says help I me, Kruger. Jazrith, your turn. All right, uh, the one to my left, my east, 28 for 15. Uh, east. You mean west? To my <coughs> west, yes. To your west? My left, my left, my west. <laughs> okay. Uh, to one... my west. 28 for 15. Drop And him. then the, okay, and the one to the northwest of him can have the seven. Seven, got it. And then the one to my east, 18 for 15. 18 for 15, drop him. Move where you like. Z, your turn. Uh, the one to the northwest, uh, 25 for 10. 25 for 10, got it. Oh, near is easy. Uh, let's give him a stun. Got him. Okay, the one to east. Uh, 18 for 12. Still up. And 14 for 7. 7 dropped him. Go to there, done. Uh, oh, Tom, uh, can I... Sh I'll shut the wardrobe. Okay. <clears throat> As, uh, Victor, your turn. All right. Um, let's see if I can get these guys cleared out. The one to my southwest, I'll take my first shot on. 19 for 20. Southwest, 19 for 20. Drop yeah, him. the one right below Kruger. Um, the one directly to my north, uh, 22 for 21. Dropped him. My oh. horde breaker on the one above him. 26 for 21, and then my bonus on that stunned guy is uh, 20, 21 for 22. That's 22. Okay. All right, you guys will finish him off before he's unstunned. <laughs> and... yeah, you know what we got to do, right? Open them all. Now, yes. after that one drops... Um... One of the red crystals above the portcullis lights up red. Oh, okay. Now I don't feel like such a dumbass. <laughs> uh, but I suggest, uh, Dusty, you come in now, and I suggest we take a... I'd like to take a short rest so I can stun some of the rest of this shit when we open these wardrobes. Sounds good to me. Okay, short rest cool. one of day 44. I'll, uh... Or do you want to catnap it, Dusty? Uh, honestly, I could, I could use a, I could use a short rest. Okay, all right, let's do it. Before anyone spends any hit dice, anyone have any special healing to do? Nope, I'm okay. out of right. uh, divinities. Spend some hit dice, guys. Uh, let's see, and I get an extra four on each of these. Biff is wrapping bandage after bandage after bandage on himself. <laughs> does he know how to spend hit dice? He does. <laughs> he spends them. Them or it? <laughs> them. Biff's a lot more skill fighter than Atan was. But not nearly as brave. I'll uh, arcane recover. 
the short rest. All right. Now what? Uh, open wardrobe two. All right. Put you guys where you want to be before you do that. Uh, which one is two? The one to the right. Right and slightly south. Um, and this is a night hag, guys, and it's holding an impet. So if you have inspiration, you may want to use it for initiative. Ready? Wait, what are we yep. doing? One? Are we opening all? No. Yes, one. Okay, before we do that, uh, like surround me and I'll cast Spirit Guardians. Um, did you did you see what Wardrobe Two says, Kruger? It's holding an infant, so can he make the infant part of his spirit guardians? Who cares about an infant? Yeah, <laughs> kill it. That might be important. You're right. right. To... All right, well, we'll open it and see, but surround me either way, so. You ready? So I can't be attacked to it. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't care about that baby. Fuck it. You ready? All right. <laughs> yes. Teleporting. Oh, well, first you need to see a Gehenna. The door opens above the caldera of an active volcano. Shards of black rock float above the molten magma. Perched atop one shard are two man sized creatures with insectoid features and four arms apiece. And then they teleport behind you. And roll initiative. That doesn't look like a night hag. Oh, my. It, it's not telling you what's in there, it's telling you where it is. So, uh. night hags are in Gehenna, I guess. <clears throat> Oh, hold up, so close. It was a four, and then it rolled over to the 18. <laughs> Dusty, you're first. Uh, yeah, I'm... Oh, and I would have been invisible. Yeah, you're this sure... one right in front of me. You sure about that, Victor? Weren't you about to cast Spirit Guardians? You don't want to be no, invisible I'm... when you cast that Spirit Guardians. Oh, you're right. Uh... I thought you meant... Was I no. casting Spirit oh, Guardians? No. <laughs> uh, I'll disengage and move here. All right, after Dusty Z. I don't know if I did Biff. Uh, go to there. Wait, Biff's coming. He's going to do the same thing. He's going to go there and dodge behind Dusty. And then Z, your turn. Oh, miss. 24 for 14. 14, nice. A little stunning action. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Nope. Shit. Um. Oh, 12 probably misses. That does miss. Uh, go back to. After Z. There, done. There's lots. This one here will cast Cloud Kill. Anyone want to counter spell that? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll yeah. Spell it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, please. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I just did. Oh, just did three. A third. Okay. That's uh, a DC fifteen to counter. Well, that ain't gonna oh. work. Oh no. It's a good time to roll low. Where's that? 20? <laughs> that, that crit poison? when I need it. Twenty foot radius poison. Oh, -ho. Sitali. You and I, my friend. <laughs> so, that fills the back. And let's see, I think it happens on the start of your turn. So, he does that. He's concentrating on that. And he'll uh, back up to there. Victor, you attack opportunity. Uh, Jasper, it's your turn. I only have a bow in my hand. Or a All right. Uh, beginning of my turn, Cloud Kill? Yep. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm -hmm. kill. Oops, take the first one, not the second one. 28 poison, 11 con save for half. Got it. So, 14. It, and half again, right? Is that spell or spell. not? Um, it is a spell, yeah. Ah, so, 7 hit points back. 12, right. or you have 7. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four. We'll go up here. I'll hit the guy concentrating. Okay. 18 hit. 
18 for 16 and two fire. Uh, resist fire, so 17 total. And three to the other guy. Three, three to the other guy after having it. Yep. Concentration check, DC 10, con. Still up. Okay, and hit him again. 17 for 14. 17 is a miss, turns out. All right. Need to re reboot here. Give me just a second. Not my computer, just uh, <clears throat> disk room. My computer hasn't crashed for a day and a half now. Nice. Hey, it's here for finger hut. I know. That's what, that's what you get when you have the garbage man build you a fucking computer. <laughs> <laughs> he said he'll give me the Cookie Monsters computer if this one doesn't work anymore. All right. Loading, loading, loading. Here we go. All right. Um, after Jazz with Sit Lolly. No poison for you. Yeah. Move to there. Might want to remember how big your aura is. It's your last yeah, warning. Yeah, I know. That's a good point. I'm going to move to there. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, Z's immune, so. Uh, Biff's. Wait, stop. <laughs> yeah, go, go attack it. Try to break it. Concentrate. Oh, uh, oh yeah. I am. I'll. I will go up there and try to break its concentration. Right. That'll help. Help Shane even more. At hit. And I'm going to do a uh, level 2 Divine Smite on top of that. It is a fiend. Oh. 10, 20, 7, 32. 32. DC 16. Made it. Oh. Damn it. All right. So let's do it again. 12 missed. Okay. All done? And then, uh, you know what? I will provoke from it. Okay. Because... There's no I in team. That's right. That's right. That was awesome, isn't it? Missed you. All right. After Jazrith, uh, Jazrith, sit lolly, Victor. Victor, are you starting All in right. the uh, poison? Yeah, you are. So yep. here's some poison for you. 29 poison. 11 con save. Halves it and halves it again because of the... Made aura. it? Yeah. So I'm in the aura. I make yeah. it. Seven. So, four, seven. And I am going to go right there. Okay. And uh, the one concentrating is the one in the back or yep. the one in the front? Back. The one in the back? Okay, so I'm going to shoot at him first. 26 for 21. 21, still that. Concentration check, DC right. 10. Down goes the spell. Good deal. And uh, then my horde breaker on the one to the south. 25 for 20. 20, got it. Then back on the main guy, miss uh, 23. Dropped. 27 for 23. <coughs> Kruger. Well, I was going to Spirit Guardians, but now it doesn't seem like such a good idea, so I'm going to Sacred Flame the Demon. Okay. Deck save 15. Takes 12 radiant. And then its turn. It will multi attack. One claw, one trident on Victor Claw. Uh, 13 trident. 19 for 8. <coughs> it's done. And then you guys will finish it that round. Alright. Two mesolots down. Uh, wardrobe three. Everyone ready? Get where you want to be. No. Hold on, I need to take off my concentration. Casey. What? Oh. Where are you going to move into the orc? Yeah. All right. Enormous interlocking gears and cogs stretch as far as you can see. Suddenly, a spherical construct with spindly legs and small wings tumbles through the open doorway. It lands prone in the room. Oh, Tom, did it? Did the Port Kellis another deal light up when yeah, we finished yeah, this? Yeah, another deal lit up. Okay. This cute little mechanical being looks up at you nice. with a one, one sad eye and tries to right itself. You want to finish it, Z? 
Absolutely. <laughs> no, 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 don't kill it. Don't kill it. Papa Zodal's got no time for the week. Roll initiative. I sent some kind of... Oh, Jesus. Roll initiative. Huh. <laughs> well, I'm not stopping. Anything. Uh... Okay, Victor, you're first. <laughs> I'm not going to kill it. Z. I can't kill a defenseless uh, creature. But are you going to try to stop Z from killing it? <laughs> you just I say Z, conflict. don't kill it. Z, your turn. He could be a good guy. Uh, uh, this, I, this whole place is built on... This level is built on gears. I, I say if you uh, follow me, I'll let you live. Mm. And I ready an attack for... Uh, an aggressive I move. I gave him the thumbs up on my uh, on my turn. The little mechanical guy, like, "Hey, buddy." Hmm. Let's see here. Because I'm pretty sure this is the little guy from. Uh, oh, what is it? That God, core Torment. series. No, yeah. the uh, what's the. Ah. Uh, Anyway, he, your words. he stands up <laughs> I can't think of it. and goes walking back to the wardrobe. You're ready, right, Z? He's trying to go back uh, to the wardrobe. I, I tell him to stop. He's going in. Will... Okay. 17 is a hit. 10 magic bludgeoning crushes in the side of his, his uh, head. And he falls dead at your feet. And another, another gem lights up. What a bunch I of go, assholes. That's right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go gonna, put him in my pack. I'm no, gonna, no, no. Let me take it. I think I, I can fix him. I'll use my tinker ability to fix him. Nice. <laughs> All yeah, right. No, no, no toy. That's awesome. Okay, everyone ready? Yeah. Roll initiative. Uh, da, 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 da. While you're doing that, let's grab what you see. Biff to roll some initiative here, too. Biff long steel. All right, so this wardrobe is hell. <clears throat> Waves of heat assail you as the door opens, revealing an iron road leading to a basalt citadel surrounded by the charred remains of defeated armies. Prisoners scream from iron gibbets that festoon the citadel walls. Suddenly, a single glowing ember flies out of the wardrobe and transforms into a winged, bony fiend with smiling skull-like visage. There. Z, I will not tell you not to hit this guy. Yeah, I have no desire to be friends with this guy. Uh, Pop soda will crush Victor, this you are first. Puny skull fuck. All right. Uh, I am gonna shoot him. Miss. Sixteen. Uh, crit for twenty-four. And my bonus action does a nineteen hit. Yep. Shoot, I did not roll initiative, sorry. Alright. Can you reorder me? Mm -hmm. uh, Victor's done, so Lala, your turn. Ikura. Miss. Miss, miss. miss. Dusty, your turn. Uh, I'm gonna ready a banish in case the guys don't take care of it. What else are you concentrating on? Uh, that would drop detect magic. Detect magic, okay. Chazworth, your turn. All right, one of up here. I'm pretty sure fire isn't going to do much against him, so just uh, miss and uh, 28 for 15. 28 hit, 15 damage. And then Kruger, your turn. I guess I'll uh, whip my hammer out and hit him with it. Miss. Um, Eight plus six. Eight plus six. six okay. Miss. Yeah. Z, oh. you, your turn. Okay. I holler out at uh, Dusty. Don't banish it. That may not give us the blood we need to light the gym. Uh, 31 for 10. Okay. And a 15 con save. Con save. Uh, stun nice. Uh, second Ready attack. Uh, 30 for 16. Got it. And uh, a crit for 15. Too bad it's not my stat. Z's done. Bone Devil stun. Biff's turn. Biff moves in for the kill. <laughs> Multi-attacking with his longsword. 
uh, hit one time for one. <laughs> and then moves away. Does he not have a strength bonus? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's heavily armored, kind of like you, Kruger, but not strong. All right. Victor. Uh, 15's a miss. 15's still a miss. And 16's a miss, I believe, yes, right? Yes, it is. Lolly. Okay. I, I turn down and virtual. give uh, Victor a reproachful look. <laughs> 17's a miss. 15's a miss. Dusty. Uh, I'll come over here and uh, yeah, I'll hit it with the one. Oh, nice. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Uh, 28 is Stinking Cloud. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> Heavily obscures the area. Has start, turn, 15 con, savers, poison, or spin, action, and retching, and reeling. Uh, except don't need to breathe immune, if you're immune to poison. And okay, and it'll last for one minute. It is concentration, so you can drop it anytime. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll drop it then. Right away, okay. <laughs> I don't think that's going to affect the devil. <laughs> Probably not. Jasmine, it's your turn. Not as much as our team. <laughs> 23 for 16. 23, okay, still up. And crit for 15. Still up. And Kruger. So he auto fails dex saves? He does. He's got magic he does. resistance. Okay, yeah, I'm going to sacred resistance. flame him. Three radiant. <laughs> oh no. <That's> so bad. <laughs> Z. 28 for 13. Down goes the devil. Ding. Right. Ding. Another thing lights up. And the last one. Okay. Everyone ready? Mm-hmm. This not. There we go. Uh, this not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you gaze out across an ancient cemetery. It's canted tombstones shrouded in fog. Eerie, hungry shapes move among the graves in the distance. Suddenly, bright, glowing balls of light appear in the room behind you. Bad spot, Biff. Yep. What was on the uh, face of this one? The Shadowfell one? Shadowfell stuff. Um, let's see. Room is 60. Ghouls gnawing on bones. Oh. All right. Actually, they don't appear till they attack, but you know that you can feel them behind you. Will when list. you roll initiative, everyone roll initiative, please. If you haven't already. They might be joining us. Oh, well, he's got the laner now, now too, with oh, the one. Oh, yeah, nice. It's going to be helpful. All right, but the first wisp beats all of you. You might want to resort. Okay. First wisp. I rolled, a, I rolled a four, and it's not going in. Okay, so the first wisp back here. Uh, shock. It was pure shock on Dusty. Critting for 8, 9, 10, 11 lightning, Dusty. Uh, I will take 11 lightning and I'll go invisible All right. from uh, Fade Away. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba. Wisp's done. Z, your turn. Where's the other wisp, Tom? Um, if Dusty goes invisible, he won't shine light on things. Well, we would have saw it before. Uh, you didn't turn in time. Invisible. You didn't turn in time. They attacked real fast. Okay. All right. I will go here. Okay. 31 for 12. 31 is a hit. Oh, that misses. Um, does my perception pick up? My, maybe not. Maybe the exact location, but not enough to see it. No, you can tell they're around somewhere. Uh, twenty-three for eleven. Twenty-three for eleven. That dropped them. And go to there. Done. Okay, next wisp. This one will close on Victor. Shock on Victor is a 20 to hit Victor for 9 lightning. And the next one goes on Victor. Shock on Victor. 11's a miss. And then Victor, your turn. 
All right, so on the one that hit me, 24 for 23. Um, dropped him. All right, and then a horde breaker on the other one, 25 for 20. Still up. 25 for 18. Just dropped him. There's one down to the south somewhere. That's all you know. So, Dusty. All right, I'm going to move up here. Ooh, nope. I guess not. No, you're Sorry. fine. No, you're, no, you would move first, so. All right. I'll move up here, and I'll be not invisible, and I'll shine the lantern. And then see what happens. And then right. I'll try to hit it. I think I can hit it. Uh, hope I can hit it. Probably can't hit it. No. Kruger. Uh, second flame the wisp. <coughs> Seventeen deck save. Made it. No. Oh. Uh, last wisp. Closes on Biff. Biff hasn't even had a chance to go yet. He hasn't gone defensive yet. Uh, Seventeen hit Biff for nine lightning. And then you guys finish it off. Let's see, those are worth 450 times 4, 1800 total. Got it. Okay, and the last light lights up, and the Borcullus raises up into the ceiling. Not that I, I mean, care about Biff, but uh, why did he have advantage on that? Uh, it was invisible. Oh, that's right. Well, Biff was uh, had his eyes closed. Okay. <laughs> well, <that's fine>. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go through the port pillars, let's <laughs> check the room to the south. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba. There is a stone block in the ceiling right south where you're standing. Z. You notice that with your passive perception. And inside here is... There's a stone block in the ceiling up here? Yep. Right south of the square you're in. And I don't see a pressure plate anywhere? Negative. Uh, do we feel like uh, we could destroy that stone that would drop? No. Okay. Oops. Can we wedge it open? No, you don't think there's any way you could stop it. It'd be way too heavy. Would it be like 0.25 pounds per... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Almost. Uh, It'd be about... Uh, Mm. Shoot the uh, puddle. Get rid of the puddle. Okay, puddle's gone. Okay, now you can see in the room. Let's see here. What's in this room. That looks normal. Yeah, looks normal. Um, Hall of the Golden Mastodon. A life-size golden statue of a mastodon sits atop a one-foot-high stone cog in the center of the room. Jeweled tusks sweep from its jowls, and its trunk is raised in a roar. Inscriptions coil around the statue's body. They're an old omen and read, Let your bones watch over my treasure, brave Gom. As you carried me from the inferno, so shall I rise from the death to defend my riches. Murals on the walls show a Chultan warrior riding a living mastodon through a series of hellish landscapes. In each scene, a different breed of devil assails them. Spine devils, bearded devils, barbed devils, horned devils, and Aaron, yes. Okay, so you saw the block. Um, everyone make an intelligence history check. There, Dusty. Um, okay, Dusty, look at the murals. They tell a story of an old Shulton hero. Uh, da, 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 da. Old Shulton hero. Where'd it go? Okay. Um, Shugakari is the name of the hero, a Chultan warrior who stole the king's prized steed, a mastodon named Gom. As punishment, the king's sorcerers banished them to the Nine Hells, but the two fought their way home. On return, Chugakari chopped off the king's head and turned his skull into a jeweled chalice. 
And that reminds you of a famous treasure. Um, famous treasure called uh, the Skull Chalice of Chakar um, Chukakare. Jeweled goblet was crafted in the skull of a long dead omen king and served as a symbol of office for the royal line of Amu. The Chupacabra. Yeah. So, what yeah, do you guys want to do? Mm. Uh, I try to get there. Yeah, we got. I'm gonna go in there, walk along the wall, and I'll tell everybody uh, to be careful about the rock. Nothing happens as you do that. Um, Stolly, you want to come up here with that beautiful aura of yours? Yes. Can I get around that pressure plate? There's Jump no pressure plate. Whatever. That's just a stone uh, block in the ceiling. Oh, got it. Okay. And uh, Z hasn't found anything that sets it off. Hey, uh, I'll investigate uh, the Mastodon. Okay. You note. Let's see here. I'm up here with you guys. You killed that slime, right? Yeah, yes. the slime is gone. You notice that there's scratches on the floor beneath the stone cog, indicating that it can rotate. Um, on the top of the statue, as you can see from walking up the wall, is a star-shaped indentation on the back of its head. That's on the back of the Mastodon's head, is a star-shaped indentation. And we have any... That's we have it. anything... It's that? Do we have any star-shaped stuff? Not that I know of. I propose we not do anything on this thing until we have something. Can we? Uh, I'll try turning the mastodon. Um, like turn. It is rock solid. Okay. Doesn't budge at all. If I touch it. Nothing happens when you touch it. I assume you were touching it when you turned it. Try to turn yes. it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I happens. Was, I was I was mentally rotating it. Right. You're yeah. thinking about it real hard. The, the uh, thing well, is coated in gold. Uh, that's for sure. It's um. It's gold plated. You're sure of that. And um. You could probably strip off the gold leaf and get a couple thousand gold worth. It'd take you about a day. Um, multiple people to reduce that. I, I'm gonna take a little bit off. And see if anything happens. Nothing happens. Okay. What there's was also it? the tusks are all uh, covered in gemstones. So there's about 50 gemstones on the tusks that you could probably lose <laughs> from. Probably 100 gold pieces each for each of those 50 gemstones. Oh, yeah. Well... Yep. Okay. I'll break one of the tusks off. You can't. Um, the thing With is made staff. out of steel, you think, and it seems to be impervious to taking damage. Okay. I'll take a few gemstones, and then I guess we'll continue on. Okay. Where to and, now? Uh, <laughs> can, uh, and can I manipulate the star thing at all in the back of its head? Um, <coughs> no, there's no button in it. No, doesn't turn. No, nothing. Just a star-shaped <laughs> star indentation. Right. Then uh, to the north. Okay. Get rid of the puddle. Puddle's gone. And you see a hallway. Long hallway, stairs going down, it looks like, at the end, and a room at the other end, and <clears throat> um, there are graven images of rotting corpses decorating the hall, and the floor is littered with tarnished coins, pieces of armor, broken shields, axe heads, <coughs> and other bits of scrap metal. Are we going to look for one of those magic... Uh, magnetic statues. <laughs> I'm not going down there. To the west. Uh, so, um, Ashley, let's put you guys where you want to be when you get to around the corner. See everyone behind you. Line up. Okay. 
Uh, Z. As soon as you step into the corridor, all non-magical objects that you have made out of cloth, leather, wood, or metal uh, corrode instantly, decay or corrode to the point of being useless and worthless. Whoa. Clothing and armor falls apart, shields and weapons become brittle and ineffective, and so forth. So you step back right away, obviously. Yeah. Is he, like, butt naked? Yeah. Unless he was wearing magic robes. <laughs> Everything he had that wasn't made of magic is gone. Good thing my cock's there. <laughs> is it magic? Yes. <laughs> uh, you could see... I mean, you've already done the damage, so... You could definitely walk down the hallway if you want. You can see at the end of the hallway, a yawning archway has a keystone adorned with an iron bowl skull, <laughs> which bites down on an ivory ring... Hey, uh, so here is bad. Yeah. Here is okay. No. When you stepped into the hall, right? Yeah. When you took okay. your first step there. Uh, what uh, type of magic is that, uh, Kruger? I'm not going in there. Don't you have detect magic up? Yeah, but I mean, I'm not gonna risk all my my armor. I'm I'm not asking you to. How far is the detect magic? Uh, 30 feet. Okay, so what kind of magic is it? Bad magic that kills your armor. I don't know. He actually doesn't like... detect any magic in the hall. So it was anything that was or wasn't magic? Anything that was not magic. All, all right, I take off magic. all of my non-magic all non magic Stop. objects made of cloth, leather, wood, or metal. Yep. I put it all in uh, into a pile, like in my backpack, hand it to Z, and say, I'm going. <laughs> uh, hold, hold my purse. Well, since I'll, I'll go along the wall following him to protect okay. him. You know what? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to summon some, some guys to go with him. Okay. And up some animals. Yeah. Okay. Um, Moving one at a time, Tom, in case you tell me I step on something. No, as long as you're butt naked, you're good. Okay, so you see ahead of you uh, this. Oh, my magic armor I'm borrowing from uh, Chris. It's true. Okay, you see, a yawning archway has a keystone adorned with an iron bull skull, which bites down on an ivory ring. That is the end of the hallway over here. And to your okay. left, you see the flight of stairs going down. I'll go up to the iron bull. And uh, what kind of animals are you can during there, Victor? Uh, as big as I can. So. So one CR two. Uh, yeah. One CR two. Okay. Uh, let's see here. CR two. Monsters, beasts. Okay, an Allosaurus. That makes sense. So, uh, Giant constrictor snake. Those are huge, actually. Um, Allosaurus. Yeah, I think an Allosaurus. Yeah, is, yeah there's an Allosaurus. Allo you guys. All right. Nice. I could summon a Hatchosaurus. <laughs> Which the Allosaurus could eat. And, and you said not well, I was going to say, too, only, right, if, only if he gets hungry. <laughs> so uh, my daggers and darts are gone. Yeah, you can't take yeah. anything. Yeah, all your, all your weapons that weren't magic. Damn. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit back here in the hallway. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna uh, pull the uh, ring. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. You yank the ring from the skull's jaws, and it disintegrates in your hands. Anything else happen? And it's gone. Nothing else happens, no. What else uh, What else was on the skull? Uh, let's see. A yawning archway has a keystone adorned with an iron bull skull, which bites down an ivory ring. You pull the ivory ring out of this bull skull, and it disintegrates in your hands, and it's gone. Hey, Victor, toss one of his non-magical items in the hallway. We can just take like a, a copper coin or whatever. 
Yeah, I'll toss a, uh, a coin in the hallway. Okay. It uh, does not disintegrate. But that one thing didn't disintegrate until someone touched it. Like, have have uh, Sit Lully pick the coin up and see if it disintegrates then. Oh, it does not. Okay, and I put it in my uh, pouch. Yeah, and you guys <laughs> I keep it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you Penny, for your thoughts. Back. You guys test and test and test, and the whatever effect that was is gone. And I just keep all the stuff. So uh, you can now freely transfer, trans, uh, port yourselves back and forth down the hallway, and we will stop there. Mm. Papa so Zodal does walks that mean around that... with his dong swinging? <laughs> does that mean that Kirk is now uh, broke? Pretty much. <laughs> hey, I, I've been there, buddy. <laughs> oh, all my gold. Too. Yeah, gold okay. disintegrated. Yeah. Um, okay. and... Lucky to get a whole new batch this time around. Yeah, from this adventure. <laughs> yeah. And one sixth of the party's treasure. Can we <laughs> take an extended rest? So yeah, do you guys want to take a extended rest? I'm sure a couple of you might level. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Let's see here. Definitely. Sure. Sounds good. Tom, was there, uh, what did I do wrong? Was there a way to get around that? Um, we did get around it. You got around it. <laughs> yeah, uh, but so after triggering it. There's not a whole lot of uh, warning at all. I mean, honestly, having the monk get hit was That was like the best thing that could possibly the... happen, yeah. Yeah. You saw the graven images of rotting corpses decorating the hall, the floor littered with tarnished coins, pieces of armor, broken shields, axe heads, other bits of scrap metal, but it doesn't really help Sweet. enough. Okay. Well, I, I kind of knew right away <laughs> that it was one of those junk your, your, your Yeah, you were asking metal it, items. You were asking if there was another one of those statues in there. Yeah. Which also got Kirk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We need to take a stick and like tie a coin to the end of it and have it lead the way around <laughs> the corners now. it said the coins are just tarnished, so did they still go away? Yeah, they're useless. Oh, it okay. says um uh the point of being useless and worthless. Okay. Divided by six of you. <clears throat> I may or may not have missed some stuff, so I'll go back and double check. But if I did not miss anything, at 62, 67 XPs before Meat Grinder. Just enough. To hit 11? To, no, for Jazz to hit 10. Oh, yeah, you weren't even 10 yet. That's right. I wasn't even 10. Now you got like 200. I'm at points. level 9 now. Can we hit level 11? I mean. Yeah, you can go to 11. Alright. If you get there. And that, you guys have cleared almost all of the fifth level, so we might finish next time we play. Or it might take two more times. Alright. Uh, so, let's see. Did we find anything we needed to identify? Um, yeah, you found at least one item. Only one, though, I think. Of course, you got the robe. Yep. Which you can but, temporarily that kind of keep. Permanent? No, is it does not. Does, okay. does not until what will happen is at the end, if you'd pleased your host enough, right. you will have the choice to take it, and only you will have the choice to take Got it. it. Oh. And it will count okay. against you right then and there against any picks that we make from then on. Got it. Including that and adventure. I'm, I got rid of the Mace of Terror. So yeah, you just, you just, yeah, you just kick that to the curb. That stupid son of a bitch wanted me to smash that control panel. Pretty nice having a little... Uh, Dimension door to get back out of there. Yeah, how are you? Like, you could also do it probably with a familiar, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Leave the familiar in the room and have to command him what to do. But I otherwise, kept looking at the puzzle, thinking you, there was some way to do it. Like, if you don't have a wizard, how do you do that? Besides leaving someone behind. And if you right. hadn't had a wizard that was trained by Jack to always have dimension door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should have pressed yeah. the red button, though. That's what you should have done. What happened then? <laughs> I can't tell you. You might go back there. No, we won't. I can assure you. Might. You. you might. You might. You might have a choice. Yeah. yeah. There might not be a choice. So I can't say. Um, I think the only treasure was a longsword that isn't 
is just a minor magic item or a common magic item that lets you speak draconic. Whoa. That was the long sword that was on the guy in the poison room. With the dragon hilt? Yep, with the dragon hilt. That is correct. Uh, let's see here. Where is that sword? 60. This, but commons count against your magic item count, correct? No. I don't know how that works in, yet in AL. Is the answer they, no? Are they not, yeah, they are they not tradable with, or something, too? Uh, gosh, I don't know about the tradable bit, but I know they don't count. That's good. With all that common stuff that came out with the Xanathars. Because now if you do that, like, develop your background out of Xanathars, mm -hmm. um, you can actually start with the common magic item. Hmm. So this longsword... Um, now, it's actually... I don't know how this will work, because it's not described with a rarity in the adventure. Oh. I think it's as powerful as a common magic item. But it's definitely a unique magic item, so this one can't be traded. Whether or not yeah. it counts against you, I don't know. Um... I'm sure that's it. Yeah, just that in the robe. Oh, you got the uh, the scepter too, but it's just a one-use item. So we'll just leave that in the party for now. All right, I'm going to take uh, learn aura of vitality. Nice. That's tasty. So, you guys should thank uh, Josh. So you guys are in the room, the control panel room, and you know what Wongo told him to do? What? Smash all the controls. <laughs> that's when he. <laughs> that's when he threw the mace away. <laughs> I mean, what happens if someone jacks the controls? Like, how do you even? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there, there's other. There's other ways. Um, there is other ways. It wouldn't be as easy, but there. <laughs> Yeah, now that I now that I think about it, there are ways to get there. But they're not as easy. <clears throat> Man, this event hey, is pretty Josh, damn good. Yes. Have you watched a show or have you heard about a show on sci fi called Happy? Uh I saw the preview for it. Dude, you need to watch it. I, I it will. is maybe the best show that I've seen in I don't know how long. <laughs> it is fantastic. It I think looked you good. It is. I didn't think it looked that great. I watched it, and it just amazed me. So that longsword uh, is the only item. Does anyone want that? Uh, what is it? It just gives you the ability to speak draconic. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I, I already I'll, speak I'll draconic. It. Whether it counts or not, I don't care. Kirk, you might want to take it so you can yeah. strap it to your leg since the last thing you had strapped on there got uh, <laughs> disintegrated. <laughs> <laughs> it's swinging with an aura. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dusty. Dusty. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. You lost everything. <laughs> That's a special, <clears throat> special uh, player's quest for your birthday. It was only seventy-seven hundred gold. Oh, that's not bad. Well, you guys found a twenty-five thousand gold piece item, and a there's a one in six chance that was yeah, on you. So you're... <laughs> <laughs> you're only gonna be down. I mean, you'll still have when it's all said and done five, six thousand gold. You're a monk. You take a vow of poverty anyway. Not this monk. He's he's gonna rule the lands. He's gonna rule uh, Omu. All right, guys. I'm heading to bed. I'll uh, see you in a week. See you, Josh. All right. Night. Well. Wow. That was a. Uh... There's some tough stuff in there. You guys, I think, actually have a chance. You got a fighter with 130 some hit points. You got a archer that does 100 or 80 points damage around. You got a monk that can stun. You got a chance. 
we're going to, it's going to boil down to initiative probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I, those traps are harsh. Although I tell you what, without that aura, I would be dead. That, that aura is oh, thousand auras shit. are so tasty. I mean, you got. I all mean, the right... I really, I don't see how you can do it without it. You got all the right stuff now. You got the plus five paladin aura. You got the archer. You got the monk. You got the wizard who has every different spell. You got the cleric who has every way to save people. So you're in pretty good shape. Yeah, I I tell you what, Shane, I think your spell choices are awesome. I don't see us doing I think that. He, he's gone. Uh, well, Dimension Door, Arcane Gate, all those spells are amazing. Jeremy, you said you leveled. Yep. Any, I, anything good? Uh, not particularly. <laughs> Would you make you tenth level? Yeah, I got Eldritch Strike, which means if I hit something with my weapon, then it has disadvantage on the next save it makes against a spell I cast. But my int's pretty low, so that's not really going to come in handy all that often. Casey, did you level? Probably. I don't know. You'd be 10th uh, level? 20, 20, 20. Yeah, yeah what's, the, what's the experience for 10th? Let's see. 64,000. Uh, no, I did not. I'm at 56, 245 right now. I might have with the, the 10%. I'm not sure. It's 68 uh, and some change. 68, 90-something. Although I do have 124 hit points with this 23 con. Oh, man. 68, 93. Who said they didn't want a spirit inside him? Told you I was I was waiting on the on the flail now. Yeah. Plus you got the robe of stunning everything. Yep. Robe of landing colors. Yeah. Too bad you can't loan that to me so my cock isn't swinging, but that's all right. Can <laughs> <laughs> take Atan's robe. Oh. And wear it with honor. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Just make Biff strip naked, take all his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Got a new spell. Yeah, I'm st I'm still uh I'm 6400 away from level 11. Uh, I, I just crossed over into 10, so... Oh, man, I am not... F I mean... Let me see where I'm at. What, what 60, we might 60. do is... Uh, next session might be a little shorter than normal. What we might do is I mean, finish everything until you're, like, right at the doors to go into the final battle and stop there. That way you can take an extended rest before the final battle and go up to 11 if you have the chance. But that does mean that we might be a you know two or three hours next time we play instead of four. Oh, that's it. And I think that'll work out better though. And there's a significant amount of stuff actually after the final battle. Kind of, it seems almost anticlimactic, but there is a bunch of stuff involved. So, you know, it won't be like the final battle is just a one-hour session. It'll be at least a two or three-hour session itself too. Yeah, I need twenty thousand XP to hit. To hit. 11, so... Yeah, you probably won't make that. I probably will not. <sighs> I need four. Under four. So I'll... Huh. I'm the highest one, then. You you need 2,400? No, I need, uh, like, 48. Or, no, I'm sorry, not 48, 38. Nice. Well, you'll, you'll hit that. Yeah. Uh, uh, anything good at 11 for you? Um, it, it can't uh, be yeah. any worse than what you got. Volley. Volley's the big one. Every get a attack everything in a ten foot spread. Although if he goes, so if he goes up to eleven, could we? Uh, we can't use catch up until like the campaign XP gets to that point. Is that right? 
No, I just set it to uh, like the top of tenth level, I think. Okay. You could use you can use um, DMXPs DMXP. to get to sixty three nine 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 XPs anytime you want. Uh, I'm already above that. Already above it, yeah. If anyone dies right now, they go back to an eighth level character, so don't die. Eighth level surrogate. Well, I'm trying not to. Of course, I was trying not to die before. Actually, that's not true. I didn't care about drums at all. Now that Chris, that volley, it's uh, it's only a single attack against all those creatures. So unless it's more than three creatures, you wouldn't want to use it. I know, but like those orcs and that stuff today, that would have gotten all of them. Oh I yeah, mean, it's yeah, good yeah, for yeah for oh, a mob. Yeah, it's basically ranger fireball. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Uh, see some of you this Friday, I guess. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I'm, in, I'm, in this I'm, hope, one. I'm hoping somebody about drops out. out. <laughs> I hope somebody drops out. All right. Have a good night. night. It'll All be a right. short night. session because there's only two, right? Only Tom? two. Yeah, two of the one-hour ones. Who's left? Uh, just us. Yeah, it uh, seems like this adventure you need to walk around with like a 10 foot pole just sticking straight out in front of you. So when you walk into those rooms that disintegrate stuff, you can see it happening <laughs> before you walk in. Yeah, wow. Put a put a metal, you know, like a metal tip on the end of it so you can see if it does bad stuff to metal too. You still streaming? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>